right, well, it appears we are here in stream. So now we just wait to see if anyone decides to join. one viewer it's just me I'm very lonely dun, 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 dun. you are not yeah it's me I think <laughs> hey B Roth what's going on bud I need to, I do need to get into your uh, Facebook group. Uh, I've seen some people talk about it, and I just haven't, uh, haven't had a chance to do it yet. How is the, uh, how is the uh, life of an online dealer treating you? Oh, awesome, thank you. Yeah, I'll definitely poke my head in there, because I saw, uh, um... I don't remember who it was. He bought a couple of uh, vintage Braves that had the pinholes, and I remembered seeing those when you had shared them before. And yeah, those are those are my kind of cards, the the well loved. But yeah, I'm just planning on kind of trying to be here throughout the night and see if anybody wants to pop in, shared it on Twitter. That sounds right. Is that, uh, or used to be, uh, don't call my junk wax. That's who I was thinking it was. Um, I might be wrong, but that's definitely who I was thinking it was. Yeah, I saw you, uh, Saw you made uh, made it down to Chantilly uh, too. Yeah, that's uh, maybe someday I'll make it out to that show. I grew up a little bit more out that way. I grew up in West Virginia, so maybe sometime I'll uh, be able to make that show happen because I obviously know some of the YouTubers are out there and all. Yeah, I'm sure we've got the uh, we've got one here in Dallas in a couple of weeks. Um, I'm gonna head up Friday night because somebody's coming up from the Houston area and then uh, or San Antonio area, and then uh, I know some others are coming in from out of town. So I'm definitely gonna head up there at least Friday, and then maybe one of the other two days. I don't necessarily assume there's anything you want to see, but if there are any teams you want me to pull and show, uh, feel free to let me know. Yeah, um, I went to the one, we did one, what was it, early summer, Jeremy, Jeremy IPTTM had come up 
and I had sold him some stuff. So we met there, and I went up on the Friday night, I think it was, and yeah, just a lot of people not wearing masks. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't real thrilled about that. I'm just trying to, my wife and I are trying to just be smart, not be stupid, and you know, we're not completely staying shut in, but we're also not going out just to go out and have fun, grocery, stuff like that, you know. The other problem I had when I was at our show was, uh, it wasn't just that the people weren't wearing masks, but it was also then, of course, they weren't adhering to any personal space, and I had some just not even paying attention to where they're going. I had one guy almost back into me. Yeah, glad to see you uh, tested negative. Uh, we haven't, uh, we don't think we've had any exposure or anything to that, um, thankfully. But we uh, found out one of our friends today uh, had exposure to it, and she, who the guy that she got it from, is apparently pretty sick right now. And it's a crappy situation. My, uh, we lost my great aunt. Uh, she was in a nursing home in Ohio, and they had an outbreak, and uh, we lost uh, we lost her back uh, back in the late spring, I think it was. Yeah, it's one of those things. She she was in a she was in a nursing home and she has Alzheimer's and dementia and she was pretty far deep into it, I guess. I don't know how what the proper terminology is, so I hate to say it this way, but you know, maybe it was a maybe it was a minor blessing. Um you know, all things considered. So have you done any? Uh, have you done any Twitter? Uh, Twitter sales. I've done plenty of Twitter sales. Have you done any uh, YouTube sales before? I don't recall ever seeing that you have. I'm just going to kind of model this a little bit after what Mike O does. Um, I've poked my head into a few of his, but I decided since I'm going to be doing this by myself, um, it seems like he's always got somebody with him, and when Egg does his, he's got somebody with him. But since I'll have to, you know, take care of the writing down, who it is, and all that kind of stuff, uh, I figured I'd just do the 25 cent price point and kind of see how it goes, see if we get some people to stack some stuff up. And if it goes well, uh, maybe uh, do a dollar one here in a couple weeks. Yeah, I, I just don't mess with the Facebook groups too much. I tried it for a while, but stuff gets lost and I mean, it's been years since I did it but I was just never real big into the Facebook thing I I did I did well because this stuff this stuff I post a lot not all of it probably about half of it I posted on uh, Twitter uh, probably six to eight weeks ago at three for a dollar and I I sold a couple hundred dollars worth of stuff so but even there, it was, uh, I want to say, I've got 6,000-some followers, and most of them, I think, are legit card people because it's a card account, and it's probably only about 15 people. I mean, I did well for 15 people buying. I had uh, some guys buy, you know, a lot of stuff. Um, did pretty well there, but I'm trying this because I'm wondering if, in a way, it's a lot less work just because I don't have to take the photos, list the photos, go back, you know, trying to do this as it goes along and see how it goes. I just got off work early today. I was already ahead on hours, so I figured I'd go ahead and sign in and just kind of chill and wait and see what happens because, you know, people will pop in. Um, you know, I get a lot of when I post these, you know, hey, I'll try to stop in, but I got this and this and totally get it so i just figured i'll kind of stay on here for a few hours yeah and i mean in the photos i'm taking i mean i'm just taking generic hey what's up ben just taking uh the photos i was using on uh, twitter were just like generic you know photos on uh my camera 
but it still takes a lot of time. And then, you know, I do them and then put them back and then people claim them and I got to go back and sort them this way. It's more of a, if uh, somebody wants to, you know, like if Ben wants me to run through my cubs here real quick, you know, he says he takes whatever, 10 of them, you know, they're all there. They're already together and already picked. So kind of saving a step, almost like when I was, uh, you know, I used to write a blog and then I started doing the YouTube and in a lot of ways, the YouTube's easier, um, just because not necessarily easier, but takes less time. So, so you already done with work for the day, Ben? Or I don't know your schedule. Maybe you weren't even, uh, maybe you weren't even working today to which I should point out. I'm trying to figure out why my informed. <laughs> oh man. Oh, you Cubs fans, you're killing me. There's so many of you. <laughs> um, yeah, I got a, uh, on my informed delivery today, it said I had the box from you was coming. And then I actually went and looked at the tracking and it's that whole, oh, it's in dust, it's uh, on its way, but going to be late. So I don't know if the damn thing's showing up today or not. But I know my regular mail already came, and I know it would be a, a separate one. So, I'm sure if you want me to show you the Cubs and there's something you want, I'm sure we can work something out. I don't have a whole lot here, though. Because I think some people took them when I had them on the, the Twitter. It looks like I've only got about 20 of them. Oh, are you not doing that anymore? Are you not working for USPS anymore? I did not realize that. That's why I was saying uh, about you uh, working today. Schwarber. Schwarber. Mr. Cub. Sandberg. This is some kind of, I don't know. This is from Series 1. It was from that big lot of Series 1 I bought. Fergie Jenkins. Another Sandberg. Schwarber. I know these ones were on in a Twitter lot, but nobody picked those up. Rhino. Oh, I didn't even realize that. I know we hadn't been chatting as much, so I guess uh, I missed that. Dwayne Underwood. No idea who that particular cub is on that checklist, but 1960 tops. This one's actually in decent shape. It's a little off-center. But, I mean, for a 60, all things considered, it's got a couple of... These corners are a little rounded, but not too shabby. Dwayne Underwood. Threw this in there. That was the uh, that was in my Throwback Thursday video from last week. Like I said, if there's any of these you need, I can yank them and we can, we can work something out. Donnie DeWeese? Never heard of that guy. Focus. 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 This Sandberg is the 89 Donner's Baseball's Best. It's not the... not sure what the image is on his base, but that's the Baseball's Best. And then I got those. Yeah, I didn't even... Yeah, didn't even realize you'd left. Take it, uh... Take it, it wasn't all it was, uh... Wasn't all it was cracked up to be. You don't have the mini card. It's Donnie Deweez. Deweez, Deweez. Not if there was anything else. Yeah, I don't have a lot because I did sell. A lot of that on was sold on Twitter. But I'll... Uh, yeah, I think on Twitter you actually had claimed some things and I never really sent you... I never really sent you a message uh, like to you know, to pay just because A, you hadn't bought much and B, we obviously shift stuff back and forth, but I will, uh, oh, no, I'm sorry to hear that, man. I had, I had no idea. I hope she's, uh, hope she's doing okay. Hey, what's up, Brian? Yeah, I'll uh, grab those for you and see what's there. How is the uh, how is the uh, weather in California? 
I know. Didn't you post a video or, or something? Maybe I saw it on your social media about uh, some of the, the fires are close to where you're at. All that craziness. Oh, geez. Uh, sorry, Ben. Hope, hope everything's okay. Keep me updated. Yeah, I had no idea of how about the job or about that. Welcome, Nick. Did you, uh, yeah, I think you, uh, followed me just, uh, maybe today on, uh, Twitter. Cause I rec I think I recognize that name. Okay. Is that what it was, Brian? A couple, a uh, month or two ago. So I don't think I added anything new Ravens in here. It's McNair. Oh, maybe that's new. That was just a rookie. I had to actually look it up to see who he played for. Ogden. I thought you took that Ogden. I'm going to set that aside for you because I thought you took that. Jamal Lewis. Yeah, and then everything else is going to be those Flacos, all that stuff I sent you in the message. Do you want me to go ahead and run through those still? If you do, I will happily go through that. And then, Nick, um, I will uh, get to yours after uh, I get through these with Brian. If you see anything, just let me know and I'll go back. Just go for the Orioles. Okay, yeah, because it's, like I said, other than those couple on the front, I think that I added in. Yeah, everything else looks to be the same because I actually just went through and pulled the stuff for our trade today. Like I said, if there's anything else you do end up wanting, I will, uh, you know, I got to ship your other stuff anyway, so the shipping's on me since we already had that trade going. All right, let's see what we got on Orioles. Now, there probably is some Orioles um, that didn't get posted on when I did the Twitter sale a few weeks ago. All right, Ben, I'll talk to you in a bit, bud. And then, Nick, like I said, I will get to uh, you had uh, whoever it was you asked for, Yankees and Eagles, here in a little bit. As soon as I get through this stack, it's probably about 100 Orioles cards I got. 84 tops, Eddie, motherfucking Murray. I think I pulled this one straight from a pack. I mean, it's pretty much meant, I guess that corner is maybe not quite perfect. Put these back in order. If you see anything, like I said, just speak up and... You want that Eddie? You want that 84 tops, I'm assuming. I'm assuming you've probably got the 89 upper decks. It's Palmer. Yep, 84. Okay, gotcha. This one is a uh, silver prism. L.J. Hose. Chris Davis in his uh, 112 batting average. Decades best. These are out of the Sport Kings that came out a couple years ago. I got a couple of those. These are the retail versions. I think they have different color text on the back. I think they're because there was a retail and there was a uh, hobby. different area codes. It's the life, isn't it? Like we've seen a flare. Reggie. It's fascinating how they, they've got this and there's, I guess, just not really a true Reggie, ja or, uh, Reggie Jackson Orioles card other than that proof card that every once in a while comes up. I guess goes for like outrageous money. This one's shiny. I guess it's not really picking up like the ref refractor type glare. So this is my lighting, I guess. John Newman from uh, Sports Card Nation podcast uh, sent me a nice little John Means care package. I decided I was going to start working on some rainbows of those WVU baseball players. 
and uh, he sent me a nice little uh, care package to get me started of some stuff from this year. This is just stuff from update last year. I was in a break. I think it was one of Ben's breaks. There's a Sucre. It's not a rookie, but that's the gold. How to 2019. Black Harvey. Did I miss? Okay, Hunter Harvey. Gotcha. So what I'll say is, uh, for you guys that are still here, um, if you don't follow anyone that's in here, everyone that's in here, I haven't followed Nick. I'll need to follow him. I'm not sure if he produces content, um, but everybody else does produce content, so definitely check them out. Pedro. CC Pedro Mancini. Those are from Series 1. Um, I had bought a large lot of those from somebody on, on the Twitter. Those weren't in uh, the, none of that Series 1 stuff, so that's a refractor. None of the uh, Series 1 stuff was in there. So a Leaf instead of the Donruss. Okay, so we got a bunch of Donruss Mucinas there. Bunch of Ultra Mucinas. But anyway, that Series 1 stuff wasn't in the Twitter sale because I've actually just gone through and found those recently. Okay, the Metric Crap Ton of Raphael Palmero. Should anybody want him? But I figure he'll be in the Hall of Fame someday. So I threw him into the quarter boxes. More Palmero. Someday somebody will want his stuff, I think. Second year shilling. We've seen a thunder. Eddie motherfucking Murray. Metal Universe. The Big Show. I loved this set. I remember pulling these out. And I wanted to put the set together back in the day. Never did. Wanted to, though. We've seen a Cisco Stadium Club rookie. So you, the Mucina and the Murray. Okay, got those for you. This is also a refractor. It's a Bowman first. I don't know if he's still in their system. Mucina, 93 Fleer. Pinnacle. I got you, Brian. All good. Palmero. At least when you said Thunder, that made it easier because I believe that was the only Thunder. Second year score Schilling. Mancini, Gypsy Queen, Rookie. There's another Hunter Harvey. This is the mini future of the franchise. Not sure if he's still with, and that's why you wanted the uh, the other one. Josh Rogers. Dylan Bundy. You want that tray? Okay. Got it. And that Hunter? Okay. All right. That's what I got on O's. So I will, uh, I will throw those in your stack, and I'll get a hold of you later on about those. But I'll put those in. Let's be honest. I'll just put those in your trade package because uh, you gave me. Whoa! Hey, you hit the camera. That uh, trade we did was definitely in my favor. So the least I can do is throw those in there for you. All right, so, yeah, 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 cool. That's kind of what, you know, I know some people, some people may hang around. Some people may just check their teams and skedaddle. Skedaddle, how old am I? All right, let me get back up there. I can't remember. I know you said Yankees, but who was the other one? Eagles, all right. Let's see what I got on the Eagles. Yeah, no problem, no problem, Brian. You know, I appreciate that trade. I haven't even, I don't think I've taken a picture of that yet. I've been 
working on this a lot and just been busy with some other stuff. So I haven't really gotten like the proper, you know, thank you pictures on the social medias. So, all right, Nick, here we go. Here's the Eagle stack. So it's probably what, about 50 ish there. Everything's sleeved. Everything will come in sleeves. Um, and we'll go from there. Just like I said, you see something, speak up, and I'll go just type it in, and I'll go back to it. So what do we got? McNabb, I think this is like 2000. Come on, let's focus. There we go. Like a 2001, I think, Hot Prospects. Or a 2006, I'm only slightly off. So McNabb, SP Authentics, all with in a Syracuse colors. McNabb. Rookies and Stars, Randall Cunningham, die cut from, I think, 96 SP, 91 Fleer. Man, what an ugly set. This one actually has a little damage up there, just as a full disclosure. If I see any of that kind of stuff, I will uh, point that out. A Wint Select from, I think, 18. 18, yes. The Randall die cut, gotcha. That's a cool card. I love the uh, I love that throwback uniform on there. Very cool. Well, that may have been the year after the whatever it was, the 75th anniversary. And I put the wince down for you. So that one's just a Clyde Simmons Reggie White scorecard from '93, I believe. Another Randall. Nab. This Foles is the, well, I'm not I'm not even 100% sure what those were called, but it's kind of got that mirror refractor look. It's not a chrome. It's got that. Brian Westbrook, this is like a, one of those tops reprints they do of some sort. As you can see, the number's TB47 there. Just so, so you, Matt Barkley, that pick didn't work out quite so well. Mini Shady McCoy, Foles got here. We go. Okay. Gotcha. Jordan Poyer rookie card. These ones are a little thicker. I'm not even sure what that set is, to be honest. I'm not a huge football guy anymore. I was back in the day, but not so much. Good old 89 Pro set. Sure, how I ended up with all these Cunninghams, to be honest. I think they came in a collection I bought. Uh, just Sean Jackson. I think these were from a box set of some sort. This McCoy is the blue parallel, and all the blue parallels have that kind of like shine to them. Rookie roll call, Sean McCoy. Miles Sanders. Phoenix rookie. Okay, McCoy. So which McCoy, the McCoy rookie? Okay, was that the, the rookie roll call? I assume I'll put that in there, and if it's not, just let me know. You want that Miles Sanders Phoenix? So that will go in your stack. Cool, cool. Deshaun Jackson. Fantasy Stars, Finest. Hugh Douglas, I think this is from like 99 or 2000 tops. Those are cool looking cards. I know Brian, uh, he, uh, he bought like a Michael McCrary or somebody like that on Twitter from that set. Brandon Graham, rookie. Vic, I believe these are a parallel of some sort with like that Starburst look. And these Vicks are the, the blue parallels. They got like a shine to them. Yes, the McCrary. Sounds good. Yeah, those are beautiful cards. I mean, I know everybody talks about the shine on the cards these days, but damn, they were doing... Some of that stuff they did in the late 90s, early 2000s is even better than the, the stuff they're doing now. Take Graham. I'm assuming that's one Vic. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. I was like, I don't know what else to... Uh, I don't know what else could be girl, so all good. 
Shelton Gibson from the West Virginia University, my alma mater. Fletcher Cox, unparalleled, kind of shiny. McCoy, finest moments. Nick Foles, unleashed. Shady McCoy, unleashed. The draft class of Cornelius Ingram and Brandon Gibson. Again, these are parallels, so there's a Steve Smith and a Deshaun Jackson. I don't know if they're called red, maybe, because that is red down there. So this is a Josh Freeman, Jeremy Macklin. Man, Macklin was an absolute beast in college. I'm more of a college football guy. So this, what is this, MVP contenders, McCoy. Want that Deshaun Red? All right. Got it in your stack. Hey, Victor, what's going on, man? Good to see you pop in. I uh, got started a little earlier than I thought. And I'm just going to probably be hanging out most of the evening. All right, we'll get back to the Eagles here. So there's a Josh Adams select rookie. Dallas Godare select rookie. Rookie, Macklin, I believe that's a green parallel. McCoy Prime Veterans. Take the Dallas. All right. Jordan Matthews, Rookie of the Year contenders. Deshaun Jackson, again, it's that blue par mirror blue parallel or blue parallel. Sonny Jerkins in Chrome. Like reprint, throwback, whatever you want to call it. Zach Ertz, finest rookie card. It's probably worth a, a little more than a quarter, I would think. Anyway, so there's Zach Ertz, finest rookie. Dallas and another Dallas Godair. I figured you'd want that one. Dallas, another Dallas Godair, but he's not in a uh, not in a uh, an Eagles uniform. These guys I had to look up because they don't say Eagles on them. They're score, but they're completely college. I had to look these up and see where the guys were. Humphrey, Elijah Qualls. So this Nate Allen shiny. I believe this is numbered. It's numbered out of 250. Take Barnett. Okay, Barnett. So anyway, back there, that's where that was. That one's numbered out of 250. Zach Ertz. Black parallel. Bowman, rookie. Keith Jackson, from back in the day. McNabb, I think that's like 2001 Ultra. You want that Ertz? Vic Red Parallel. Again, kind of has that Starburst look to it. McNabb Hot Prospects. Zach Ertz. We got, it looks like, three of the Topps Chrome 1986 Topps Parallels. And a couple of Matt Barkleys like that. And then we got a Zach Ertz. I don't remember which particular set that is. But it's another chrome parallel. If that was six, uh, I want to say that's like 61, 58, 59, somewhere. Okay, take one of the Ertz. All right, gotcha. And the next Ertz. All right. So that is going to be it for the Eagles. Let me go ahead and write you down here. I R I Z A R R Y. All right. So we got those eagles in there. Hey, appreciate it. Appreciate it, Brian. You are the man, my friend. It's funny how uh, we've become uh, social media card friends because uh, 
pretty sure uh pretty sure I found you because some you were doing a cross promotion with somebody and I think you were giving away a uh, Zion rookie that I won if I remember correctly unless I'm confusing you with uh, someone else I don't know if that sounds right to you all right Yankees looks like we got it definitely got at least a hundred Yankees yes that was it. It was Scotty. That sounds right. Yeah, and I, I won that uh, Zion. Still got that bad boy. He's in my, part of my Zion collection. So here are, here come the Yankees. Yeah, like I said, definitely won. Still have that card. Um, that's staying in my collection. I'm a, I'm a, as you should know, since I bought some more of the Zions off of you, I'm a, I'm a closet Zion fan. Zion Mania got me back into basketball. I hadn't been into basketball in years. All right. Here we go on the Yankees. All right. Got a Mo Rivera. That's a die cut. That's from Series 1 this year. Yankees Decades Best Team card. I'm not even sure what this guy's first name is. Ursula. Ursula. Reminds me of Ursula from Super Troopers. All right, looks like we got a couple more 90 or 60s decades best Yankees. Mo Rivera Stadium Club. I believe that's 2018. Not that Geo. Yeah, I was thinking it was Geo, but yeah, I get things wrong. I'm not the not the biggest modern baseball fan. Loved it growing up. So a couple more Rivera's. Loved baseball growing up. It was the first sport that I loved, but just just not that into it anymore. So Garrick, this is another die cut like the Rivera from Series One. I know there's a lot of CC in here. You know, assuming he's going to be a Hall of Famer. So quarter box. You want one of those Mo Stadium clubs? If you just say, like, when I've got multiples, like the Geo and that uh, Rivera, I'm just going to give you one because that's what I assume you want. Um, if you want them all or you want multiples, just make sure to let me know and I'll grab them all. So, CC Ginter from 2012. Shiny Bowman Platinum, CC. Okay, Ginter is in your stack. Reggie, I just... I. It's not a Yankees card. These aren't, but I kind of associate him with Yankees more than any other team. So I figured I'd put him in with the Yankees. 88 Donners, Ricky Henderson. 89 Tops, Henderson. 87 Tops, Henderson. Another 87 Tops, Henderson. Series 1, 80s Decades Best, Mattingly. And that's uh, another one of the Turkey Reds. This one's a Tanaka. Ricky Donris. Okay, gotcha. Let me just check that out, make sure. It's, it is obviously off-center, but it does look like there's not really any whiting on there, so it should be in, uh, looks to be in good shape. Every once in a while, I don't catch stuff as I put them in there, so I know to check them. Both 87 tops. Okay. Definitely good to get in here. I'm glad you got in here early. You'll be get first picks of the uh, stuff because I'm sure I'll be going through these again later on, especially if uh, I'm sure Mike will be in here probably at some point. Pettit, Decades Best. Rizzuto, Decades Best. These are 18 Stadium Club, I believe. A bunch of CCs. I got like... Seven of them. Eight of them. 90 score. Neon. Dion Sanders. 
This is, I believe, 2001 Upper Deck Century Legends. Or no, it's a Sweet Spot Classic, so it was in, I guess it was in Sweet Spot. And with that CC Stadium and the Dion. All right. Joe DiMaggio. Winfield, kind of like the uh, the Reggies. I just kind of associate him with a Yankee, probably just because of my age. Marino, Omar Marino, this is a senior league card, but again, I associate him with the Yankees, so I figured I'd throw it in there. Oscar Gamble, he's a uh, Sans Afro there. Jesus Montero, first Bowman. Not 100% sure what these are. All-time Yankees. Okay, so these are from TCMA 1980. It's it's a little it's it's a little rough. It looks like it might have a small stain or something on it, but it's it's random. You don't see a whole lot of them, so I figured for a quarter. Apparently, if you take this DD Gregorius, you get two of them. Because I noticed it was extra thick. I'm not even sure how to say this dude's last name, but it's a rookie. Winfield, 87 tops. Chance Adams. And another Ursula. Take, take Dawn. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Make sure, yeah, make sure I do the right one. Not sure if this guy's There's all the Bernie stuff. Probably already sent it to you, didn't I? Send you some stuff at one point there, uh, Victor. With that Winfield, I assume you uh, when you say the Winfield, unless you tell me otherwise, you're meaning the '87 tops. So I'll put that in there. I don't think you mean the uh, the Panini ones. Yeah, I probably sent you some Bernies, but there might be a couple in here. This is a uh, first Bowman, but it's a uh, it's the refractor. Same thing here, Jordan Montgomery Refractor. Okay. Greg Bird, this is out of Donner's Elite. <laughs> Austin Dakar, Bowman Chrome First Refractor. Luis Torrens, Bowman Chrome First Refractor. You want the Montgomery? Okay. Jonathan Holder, Bowman Chrome First Refractor. Pet it. Chance Adam Bowman Scouts top 100. Chance Adam Bowman trending. Dustin Fowler top 100. Luis Severino, and then it's got like a refractor shine to it. There you go. Now you can see it. Rob Ruff Snyder Bowman Scouts. Top 100. Brett Gardner. Ginter. This is an, sorry, like maybe 2012 Ginter? Nope, not even close. 2015. 88 score. Mattingly and Jack Clark. Optic. Miguel Andujar. 86 tops. Murphy looks to be off. It's off center, but otherwise the corners and edges look good on him. This Ellsbury is a chrome refractor. Let's see if we can get some shine. You can get a little bit of shine there. You can see it. Don Mattingly, man, Victor, I thought uh, thought that might be the Bernie rookie in there. John Ryan Murphy, Tyler Austin. Bowman Platinum Rookie. Jacoby Ellsbury, Bowman Platinum. Take the Donnie Bowman. Got it. So, Nick, when you're done, um, what I'm going to ask you to do is just go ahead and email me, kekinsley at yahoo.com. Just remind me what your name is, and I'll get you a total and everything. Um, the shipping's $4 flat in the United States. Um, 
But yeah, just email me there with your name. I'll have the stuff already set aside for you, and I'll get you a total, and we'll go from there. All right, back to the cards. If I can get some focus here. There's Paxson. Lois Sega, I guess, the rookies, Optic. Chance Adams, Optic, rated rookie. Gosuki Kato, but that is a uh, refractor. Adams Gypsy Queen rookie. Adams Gypsy Queen rookie. Louis Severino. Okay, I'll we'll get on that, Brian. I think you're next in line. I don't think anybody else has asked for anything so far. Tanaka Ginter. Headley Ginter. McCann Ginter. Ellsbury Ginter. Seferino Panini Contenders 2015. Mo Bowman. Mattingly 89 Tops All Star. Tansis, uh, minor league. What's that? Twenty. What's that? Twenty eleven. Bowman Heritage, my, or Tops Heritage Miners. Two thousand Victory Soriano with the Tops. Right. I know I'm going slow, guys, but obviously the chat ends up being on a little bit of a delay, so I'm trying to not get too far ahead of myself and slow progress down another way. Bowman Platinum, Pettit Opeachy. Cano, Opichi, Tansis Tops, CC, CC Ginter, another CC Tops, Pettit Stadium Club, Ricky Stadium Club. Yeah, the uh, and Brian, the DJ Moore. I heard on. I think he did a video today. I didn't. I know the name. But I didn't actually know he went to Maryland. I knew that, uh, I knew Diggs did, obviously, because we were playing y'all and Diggs was there, and I'm pretty sure he just killed us. You want that, Ricky? I was thinking you might. All right. So, Dion, Dion, Clint Frazier, rookie, Stadium Club. Rivera, Tops. Rivera, Ginter. You want one of those Dion's? And here's another Dion. That's a 90 classic. Those came in uh, like box sets or something like that. You want that, Clint? Glad to see some guys taking some stuff, so I feel a little bit better. I mean, I know some of these may not necessarily be quarter cards, um... But again, some of them I think are good prices. It's hit and miss. You want that next Dion? I figured you might want that if you wanted the first one. So this Ricky here, this was from an 89 Donners. These were like an all-star set. Um, I just figured I'd point that out. Um, I think there was an American League. It was American League and National League all-stars. But you've liked some of the other Rickies, so I thought I'd kind of point that out. You might want that one. Wade Boggs, Fleer, all-star. and Somebody's on the back of that. Matt Williams. Okay, you want that, Ricky? I thought you might. Pettit. That was a pinnacle. CC pinnacle. Bowman. Mo. A couple more. Let's see. Mo Bowman. Batansis. Batansis rookie Bowman. CC. Bernie Williams rookie. There you go, Victor. <laughs> Andy Pettit, circa 1996. Pettit Donruss, Giambi. Those have a little bit of a shine, nice rainbow shine to them. There's a Giamb two Giambis. Dave Winfield. These are out of the 86 tops. Uh, yeah, corners aren't perfect. Obviously, it's a little off center. It's another Bernie, Flair Bernie, but I'm assuming you've probably got all these, Victor. Robinson Cano. Okay, so which Bernie? We had the 
the rookie or the the rookie. Okay. I'm pretty sure Victor's got probably a metric ton of those. So, Cano. <laughs> I figured Victor. Nothing. It ain't going to be nothing rare in here. If it was rare and it was Bernie, it had already you'd already have it. Tyler Wade. That's one of those variations. It's got Kraken on there instead of his name. Potances. Heritage Miners. And to wrap it up, Adams, Adams, Lasaga, Wade, and a DD opening day. Oh, the uh, the base from the 2000s. Yeah, that's something, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of. When you said Wade, were you meaning this all-star? I think you are. You can either say yes, or if you just don't say no, I'll know that that one was yours. But that's going to wrap it up on the Yankees. Yeah, there's like, I think that's what a lot of guys are running into is the... Uh, oh, Tyler Wade. Okay. My bad. I did not even catch that. Ah, there we go. Bugs in. Wait out. All right. So that is going to be it on the Yankees. Okay. Sports writer, you want all of the Yankees? Okay, sounds good, Nick. Yeah, and I'll get you a total. Um, probably won't be till tomorrow because I'm planning on doing this most of the evening. So it probably, yeah, won't be until tomorrow. Um, but I'll get you your total, and I will get those. Uh, I'll get all these packed up and out. Hopefully, Monday will be the goal. So I'll get them packed up over the weekend. So we will go from there. Um, I will give you a, a sub back when I uh, get everything calmed down and give you a follow back on Twitter as well. I appreciate you hopping in. Ah, Jenny, you didn't really miss anything. I haven't been here that long. So, sports writer, you want all the leftover Yankees. So, I can do that. There's probably close to 100 there. Let me see. Looks to be about 110 of those. Um, I'll get you an official count later on. Um, and But because you will be over 100, there'll be 20 cents a piece instead of the, the 25 cents. So let me write this down. Sports writer map. All right, so I will get these up there for you. Um, I'm not sure if you're wanting to hang around and look for anything else. Um, I know next up, uh, some stuff uh, for Burke. He was next on the, the, the claim list if you want to hang around. Okay, so you caught the part about the email. Just wanted to make, that was what I was going to say. I wasn't sure if uh, you were going to want to hang around. Um, or whatnot. But yeah, just shoot me that email. I'll get you total. It'll probably be tomorrow. Um, and we will go from there. Yeah, it's been good. It's been good so far, Brian. Pretty, pretty, uh, pretty happy with this so far. Yeah, I appreciate everyone, you know, whether you get anything or not, I appreciate everybody checking in. When I did my, uh, box break last week, that was fun just having, you know, a dozen guys in there chatting with me. Um, but yeah, Jenny, you haven't missed anything, so we can, 
Uh, n yeah. No, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, just shoot me an email and we'll get it. We'll get it all taken care of. And for anybody that's here, I would prefer you just pay me when you pay me PayPal. Please pay goods and services. That way, uh, I have your address. And also, when I print out the label, I'll print it through PayPal. It should give you that tracking number uh, that you all need. So I would, you know, I would say if you please pay me goods and services. Uh, nobody else has asked for anything, Brian. So, um, did you just want those two guys or did you want me to show you the whole teams? Just let me know and I can, uh, take a gander. Um, so I know one was Panthers and I think there is one or two in there. Okay, so there's a more. Can't remember if there's any more in there. <laughs> Just more from Panthers. Okay, yeah. Let me uh, check that. I found one so far. Two. All right, found two DJ Moore Panthers. All right, so one is the uh, it's a playoff rookie, and then a certified. I believe that's a second year. I assume you probably want them both. Just uh, yeah, just confirm for me. Take them both. All right. Vikings, Vikings, Vikings. There might, yeah, there might be a few in here. I don't have any football from this year, so I know he went to the Bills. Or I believe he went to the Bills. But I don't have any football from this year. All right. Let me see. Got a lot of... Dante Culpepper, if anybody wants some Dante Culpepper. Again, I'll probably keep saying this. You're going to get tired of hearing it if y'all are here for any amount of time. I appreciate everyone tuning in. This is, uh, it's already been way more successful than I anticipated. Um, definitely think this is going to be the way to go for me as opposed to the uh the twitter sales it's just every every platform has its pluses and minuses and is a little different i'm assuming on digs um i'm gonna pull them all out i'm assuming you probably only would want one of each i just found one where i had three but um you know we'll uh to get all the way through these, we'll figure it out for sure. Because I know with the Ravens, you know, you had said uh, you already had a lot going on. So I'm thinking you're probably collecting him the same way as well. I'm just doing this off camera, y'all, to just try and make it a little, a little faster since I'm only looking for one guy. All right. Yeah, just one of each. Okay. Sounds good. So I will show you the ones I have, and you can tell me. Okay, so these unparalleled, I had three of those. So I've got this Stars of the NFL, the unparalleled. I like this one because it's got Randy Moss in the background. This, uh, I forget what it's called. Unless they're rookies. Yeah, I don't think that other one was a rookie. And then I've got the Select. So there's four there. Um, I'll put them in your stack unless you uh, tell me otherwise that you don't need any of the those four did I miss anybody okay sounds good they're already in your stack so did I miss anybody as far as nobody's waiting on anything for me to show oh man yeah, this has been uh, pretty darn successful.
Dan, how you doing, bud? You know, now I'm just curious. So I'm in Texas, and it's like 55 degrees here. What is the temperature in Korea these days, this time of year? I have no idea how all that works. Because I think y'all technically would be like north of us, if I'm correct. Well, maybe parallel. Because I guess we're not exactly at the equator here in Texas, although it does feel like it in July and August. We've definitely gotten uh, cool much earlier this year. Okay, I'm going to have to tell you, <laughs> I told George, you're going to have to convert that because I have no idea. He he said something about losing some weight the other day, and he was doing it in the kilograms, and I'm like, dude, you got to convert that. I, I got nothing. You know us Americans. We're so we're setting our ways, but 4 degrees Celsius, that seems like that would be cooler than here. I can't remember what the conversion rate is. 39? Okay. Yeah, it's, uh, although it might be up into the low 60s now, we've actually got sunlight outside, just popped out for the first time in, in days. So I know you're, you're in the military, were you stationed over there at some point, just the fact, or elsewhere, since, uh, oh, well, true, it's 6.50 a.m. for you, I didn't even think about that, yeah, it's, uh, it's 4.48 in the afternoon here, so... Yeah, I didn't even think about, I wasn't even thinking about the dang time difference. But yeah, Brian, you came up with that. I don't know if, uh, have you been stationed elsewhere? Maybe where you had to use those conversion rates. I say rates like it's money. I don't even know what the, uh, what the proper term would be. All right, guys, I'm going to throw this up just for a moment i am gonna run uh take a quick restroom break and i will be right back ah google yeah when all else fails google it but i had to uh to plug in my camera and my uh my headphones i'm using the headphones instead of just the one on the computer so that you know my wife doesn't feel like she has to tap dance around when she moves around um i don't have my mouse isn't on my uh, computer hooked in so it's weird using that uh, little mouse on the on the thing. I'll be right back, guys. Just got to take a quick restroom break. Like my little makeshift sign. It was just like I know I'm planning on being down here for a few hours, so of course throughout the uh, evening I'll have to come and go. Dan, if you're still here, I don't know if you saw my comment on your uh, top 20 video you did today. So I listen to videos while I'm working. That's when I do most of my uh, 
watching, even though it's listing. But yeah, when you uh, said Starfin, uh, my ears popped up because, uh, yeah, Andy, I know uh, Andy Broom is a big collector. Oh, okay. So if they're on the same longitude. So yeah, I'm just obviously a little south of there. I'm in North Texas. But yeah, that Starfin, I just thought that was super cool because I only know uh, of, uh, I, I know that he's legendary over there and I know that uh, Andy collects him and he also uh, had written an article in uh, Beckett Vintage Collector at some point uh, about Starfin cards. I don't know if you ever saw that. If you haven't, remind me someday I can, because uh, I've got all the Beckett Vintage Collector. I've been a subscriber since early on, and I purchased all the other ones off the sh off the uh, magazine racks. But I could, uh, if I ever get my scanner working, I could uh, scan that and send it to you if you haven't seen it or can't find it online or something. I don't know. I just thought it was really cool and that he's so interested in him even though he played over there. My dog is uh, leaning up against me. Needing. She's so needy. I voted, guys. Go vote. I voted yesterday. Just go vote. Doesn't matter who you're voting for. Just vote. Oh, disregard that. Okay. All good. All good. Uh, yeah, I don't know a ton about South Korea, but I know, uh, so when I was younger, so when I was probably about third grade, my mom went back to college, and I don't remember the story of how, but she ended up becoming friends with a lot of the, uh, the Korean students that had come over, and, um, I ended up doing my fourth grade social studies project on the marriage customs of South Korea, which I guess have gone by the wayside in whatever that would be, 25, 30 years. Uh, Beulah is my pit bull. Uh, sh this is not her. This is actually Stella. She is a pointer mix. Beulah is the Brindle one. She's a pit bull. This one is Stella. She's white with a little bit of black. She is a pointer. And then we have a little Patterdale Terrier. She is about 15, 20 pounds, and her name is Lola. I spoil them all in their own little ways at times. Unfortunately, we can't. Uh, none of them can hang out together. Um, they fight. Uh, the one that's beside me now, while she is the most human sweet dog ever, she is uh, She's dog aggressive. She attacked the pit bull multiple times. Um, and the pit bull just isn't really mean, like, she had Stella by the throat, and just wouldn't do it, but she had her by the throat, and one time when they, uh, fought, I almost lost the end of my finger, um, cause, uh, yeah, it was pretty rough, but, yeah, Stella and the little one used to hang out together, and then we had some incidents, uh, early this year, three times in two days, so now they're all separated. <laughs> all the time so it's a nice little dance when we gotta let everybody out um just gotta let them out in groups and then stella the one that's with me now she is an escape artist she can get over the fence in our backyard because it's just like a just like a you know a chain link fence i guess is the the term for it um well she'd gotten over it a few times she got over it again last night was in my back neighbor's yard so I went back there and was trying to pick her up and couldn't do it because I couldn't lean. I couldn't get the fence was too high and she was just a little like five inches too short. So I actually saw her jump up and she literally crawled over the fence. So now I have to go outside with her every time she goes out. Same latitude as Charlotte. Okay. So yeah, I mean that kind of would make some sense because that Charlotte will have warm times and cold times. Yeah, I did the uh, I did that uh, social studies project on the the marriage customs of South Korea, and at the time it was the arranged marriages, which I have uh, 
found out is apparently no longer a thing. But, of course, then, too, because that would have been right around the time. Uh, so, of course, I had, I was fascinated because of, you know, my mom's friends and went over a few times and ate dinner with them and just the different palate of the, the Korean food. It was fascinating and I loved the smell. And uh, so I was hooked on the 88 Seoul Olympics, had my Seoul Olympics t-shirt with, I'm guessing it was like their mascot or whatever. I feel like it was something that looked like Tony the Tiger <laughs> or something like that. Oh, good times. Good times. Any, uh, well, let's see. Yeah, I mean, we got plenty of time. So, yeah, any, if you want me to search for any particular guys, just let me know. What year roughly did, was he a rookie? I don't know. I kind of recognize the name. It's in the last, last year or this year. I probably won't have any. Sit in the Jags. A whole lot of Fred Taylor rookies. Anybody need some Fred Taylor rookies? Quarter a pop. About three years ago. Okay, maybe if he was in that that select that uh, you'd see. I think it's 2018 select. I have a little bit because I bought some off of. I bought a group off of somebody at uh, one of the local card shows. Yeah, I was able to go through and actually get a decent amount of hockey for today. I got everything that I had already pulled, sleeved up, and ready. Um, but no basketball yet. I'm going to have to go through. Basketball is going to be tougher. I do not have anyone with that name in the Jaguars, unfortunately. I got a stack of probably 80 or so, but I do not have, I do not have that name, unfortunately. Oh, man. So, Dan, while I'm thinking about it, I know you explained to me that the uh, the KBO sets do not have the uh, the foreign players, so the United States players, etc. Is that, like, a thing through the co card company? Is that something from the KBO itself? Do you know? Has it always been that way? I'm... I'm interested by that oh yeah not defensive end i was hoping like i said maybe 2018 he would have been in select or something if that was his rookie year um but no luck sorry about that one i definitely uh you know know the frustration defensive players we have a uh defensive lineman that'll i'm guessing will be a first or second round pick this year uh got two brothers the stills brothers and their dad played in the nfl for about a decade um, hoping they get a few nice rookies, but we'll see. One's a senior, one's a junior. The one that's a senior, they'd said a lot of people thought he would go NFL last year, and he didn't. He came back. But I think the younger brother's supposed to be better, so I can't. I can't remember. I, I get, I'll get. i be honest, I get them confused because they're both defensive tackles and they play side-by-side side on the defensive line. So it is what it is. But, yeah, I'm glad I was asking about the uh, the import players, Dan, on the, the KBO. And I love that you do that set and put that together. Um, that was really cool to get those couple of nipperts. And then... Um, I kind of, I won't say I collect Michael Choice, but he played at UT Arlington, which is literally uh, about a mile and a half from where I am right now, from where I live. Um, so anytime I come into Michael Choice cards, I keep them. So that's that's super cool. Uh, I love that he was in there too. I wish uh, maybe we could get more Mountaineers playing over there, but getting more Mountaineers in the majors now. Uh, 
I mean, because right now, it's as far as Mountaineer baseball players is in Major League Baseball, over like the last three years, it's definitely been the golden age because David Carpenter, who's up there, I mean, he's into his late 30s, I think. Uh, he pitched, I think, re- last year or the year before with Atlanta. I don't know if he had any cards the last couple of years, but he had some cards earlier in the 20-teens decade. Jed Jerko. Uh, and then this year, Ryan McBroom has had some rookie cards. John Means was the rookie last year. Uh, Harrison Musgrave the year before, so kind of cool. You'll see, uh, Burke, I know just because he's an Oreo, I figure I'll mention this. Uh, or did I mention that? I may have already mentioned it, but yeah, uh, my buddy John from Sports Card Nation podcast sent me a care package with a bunch of uh, John Means cards, including some of the parallels. So, pretty excited about that. I'm going to start working on some of the rainbows of those WVU guys. Just, I mean, none of them are superstars, so it shouldn't be too expensive. Um, but just for spits and giggles, like McBroom, I didn't even know until like a week ago, or maybe a week and a half ago, that he had a major league card. And somebody on Twitter sent me an advanced stats rookie. And then I got the Sapphire off of eBay. John means business. He didn't mean as much business this year. I'm hoping uh, hoping he can rebound. I mean, I'd like to see him. Obviously, I want to see the Mountaineers be successful. And even if a pitcher's successful, his cards aren't going to nearly cost what the, the batters are. I remember when Jerko first came up, his cards were pretty pricey because you got the... You had the WVU collectors who WVU collectors they can they can run up some prices. They they like their we love our Mountaineers. But also he finished, I want to say second in rookie of the year voting his rookie year. So his cards went for a nice price at first. Yeah, I agree, Victor. I mean, and that's why when I say working on rainbows, I'm not ever it's very unlikely that I'll ever put a full one together. Obviously, if I get a one of one, you know, if I can come into a one of one, then I, you know, it's, that makes it possible to, to go the other direction and try and put the, you know, technically you've picked up the hardest card at that point. But, yeah, I feel you. Uh, see, yeah, and I didn't know that. I didn't know that, Brian, because I don't, like I said, I truly don't really follow baseball that much. Um, even my Mountaineer guys, I, I don't pay a ton of attention. I just know that, uh, and then this year was weird anyway. So I don't pay it a ton of attention. Yeah, I know. Uh, I will say, Victor, though, that uh, Alec Manoa. Oh, I forgot about Manoa. He's, I mean, he's not in the majors yet, but he's had cards, obviously, because he was a first-round pick last year. I do have one of his one ones so I do want to put that one together. But honestly, I haven't put as much effort into it as the other ones because I do have the one one already. Um, and it was from the contenders draft picks. And for whatever reason, those contenders draft picks, some of those parallels just never seemed to show up on eBay. Because when that stuff first came out, I was all over that. I mean, I was, you know, refreshing multiple times a day on eBay. And uh, some of them I never saw. But I got the one one I... Got it on a buy it now, so. Last company with license didn't do the foreign players either. Okay. Yeah, see, I didn't know if that was a KBO thing itself or if it was the company. I mean, I guess if you're only selling over there, maybe the people just don't have the, uh, don't have the entrance. I see I got a new subscriber just pop up on my phone. I'm guessing he might be in here momentarily. I guess he'll want to see, uh. Some Penguins cards if he comes over. Let's see if that happens. But yeah, very weird, Victor. Like I said, I mean, I don't follow it. But I mean, just by being on Twitter and everything, I have enough of an idea what's going on. <laughs> Brandon Lau on the Rays, believe it or not, yes. Um, I do have a couple of rookies in there, which I'm guessing they're more than quarter cards. But uh, it's all good by me. I just put them in there. You must be Kreskin. Kreskin? What? What are you talking about? I know you want. I know you want to. I know you want me to 
Pull out the Penguins cards, though. I know that's what you want. I had actually just said, when I saw you subscribe to my channel, I had actually said he's probably going to come over and want to see what Penguins I have. Got a little bit. So what does a Topps Brandon Lau rookie go for since... Uh, since I have two of them in the quarter box, I assume that's uh, I assume you want them for a quarter. Since you asked, uh, just just go ahead and confirm, and I'll uh, I'll drop them in there. Ah, okay. Kreskin predicts the future. Okay, so you want so you want those two, Bert or Brian? I call you call you seventeen different things. Yeah, I'm curious what these actually, uh, I wonder what these actually go for now. Are these more like dollar cards or more like two dollar cards? One million dollars or not. Teleka had a license and did have them in 99 to 2001. Interesting. I've got, uh, I don't know on KBO, I don't know what WVU guys have been over there. I have a, I know Daryl Whitmore has a couple of the, uh, BBM from the, I believe that's the Japanese league. Um, I think I end up having one of them. Um, uh, let me get back through. Oh, yeah, I said it right. Something. All right. Penguins finally get to show off some hockey. So I guess everyone else is going to take a nap. A lot of eight went for ninety nine cents on the twenty eighth. Okay, so I guess I yeah I guess I wasn't too far off. I mean it's one of those things where in here I mean I have some cards that probably aren't necessarily quarter cards, but I probably have some stuff in there that's uh, more that I just don't uh, you know I'm just not paying a uh, I don't pay enough attention to. A couple bucks each makes more sense. Yeah, for me it was a move. I mean, and part of the thing too is no differently than when I set up at shows. You know if you've got you know, in your quarter boxes, you got cards, you got a few cards here and there that are three or five. Kind of makes people want to look a little further because they never know what they find. All right. Hockey, hockey. OTB's here. <laughs> You're signed in under a different one, huh? All right. So, Penguins. Let's rock and roll. These are just some, I think most everything in here is going to be base. You see anything, just tell me. We'll go back at it and I'll pull them. Yeah, I sold. I got rid of a lot of my hockey uh, about three or four years ago, so I don't have a ton. And the Murrays were in my quarter box, but I guess he's, uh, I believe he's strolled a bit recently. Good old Tom Barrasso. I guess I could put that Murray with the others. Just put all my OPG Platinums in here. Malkin... Trilogy, Malcolm Trilogy, a couple of Mario, just award winners. Unfortunately, no other Mario's, I don't think, in my uh, quarter box. They're kind of in my dollar box. But uh, I'm, this has been pretty successful for you guys that just jumped in. So I'm probably going to do a dollar box or, or basically just a dollar and up box uh, sale here in a couple of weeks because I've actually... Uh, it's been pretty good so far, and I mean, I feel like as the night goes on, you know, we'll see more people. So, that's going to be the, one of the only two Crosby. It's just a checklist card with Pavelski, another Crosby card. Yeah, the selection, or the, the variety of stuff on the hockey is not going to be anything like it is on the, the baseball and football. Another Murray base upper deck. Malkin. Malkin, Malkin, Bueller, some SP Authentic Malkins, Murray MVP, Robert Bertuzzo, this kind of has that old, uh, I tell you what, Dan, I mean, I'm, we'll see, but I mean, I'm planning on being on for a few hours, um, cause like I said, just people, you know, people have different things going on, so they'll be able to pop in at different times, so I'll be around for, you know, probably at least a couple more hours, if not later, um, so yeah, I'll be around, so hope, uh, hopefully we'll catch you later, if not, I will talk at you later, my friend, have a good day at work, so anyway, Bertuzzo, so, Old school 
I know OTB, you had bought some of these on Twitter. I'd never had gotten them all posted. Um, but these are, I guess, what, 75, 76 tops. These, you know, these ones are not perfect. Like, look at that bottom corner if it focuses. Just as a heads up, I mean, they're not perfect. But when they're older for a quarter, I give more leeway. Not everybody will, but I definitely want to disclose Tang Canvas. I think that's the first insert we've even had. Um, anyway, yeah, so like that one's got the, it's got that rough corner there. But on, like I said, on vintage for a quarter. Oh, there's a Mario, a couple of Mario. I think these are OP, or the, oh no, those are tops. 91, 92, but I got them in here because obviously they're quite off center. I opened packs and they came out that way. Barrasso, Hockey Day. Phil Kessel, as my wife says, he looks like an insurance salesman. She loves her some Phil Kessel. My wife actually does love hockey. She's a big Stars fan. And Orion Rust Canvas. And that's all I got, guys. Hockey's definitely a lot more limited because, like I said, I uh, you know, just sold off a lot of that um, a few years ago. Mm. You want to check out the Sharks? All right. It's a smaller stack. Um, Penguins is actually one of the bigger stacks I have. So... Sharks, Aussie Canseco has a 91 BBM. That's cool. Yeah, I can't remember what year the Whitmore is. I, it's later 90s, I think, because he was with the Marlins in 93, and I think it was after he was with the Marlins he went to Japan. And then he came back and played some minor league ball. Um, finished up with St. Louis. Yeah, I got a few Sharks here. Jumbo Joe. Another Jumbo Joe SP Authentic. Itsy Niemi Net Defenders. Another Jumbo Joe with the nice, uh, the very nice beard there. I would say a playoff beard, but he was wearing it for more than just the playoffs. There's the, the Joe Thornton beard. Come on, focus. For those who have not seen the, uh, the beauty that is Joe Thornton's beard. Brent Burns, Opeachy Platinum which is basically the chrome hockey. Another Joe Thornton. It's going to be mostly Thornton and uh, Burns, probably. Thornton, Thornton. So there's like a pre, whatever you would call him, a pre-rookie or a prospect card of Joe Thornton because he's listed with Sault Ste. Marie there. I think I got a couple more of those. So, yeah, three of the Thorntons. Joe Thornton Pinnacle. Arthur's Herbe. This is actually just from a couple of years ago, maybe three or four years ago, but it's the throwback to the like 93, 94 set. So this is actually a uh, 2014. So maybe it's either 2013, 14, or 14, 15. Arthur's Herbe. Patrick Morlo. Same set. I love that. Love that SP set. Joe Thornton. Thornton. Logan Couture from. Uh, National Hockey Card Day. Parker's rookie, Marcus Sorensen. Joe Pavelski. Thornton. Now, can we see his beard? Uh, how you like that beard? I'm jealous. I cannot grow facial hair like that. Mine looks horrible. Niemi, Upper Deck Canvas. Thornton, Upper Deck. Mark Edward Vlasic. Canvas, Thornton, Brent Burns. Is there something else in there? Oh. I guess when I was sorting them, I ended up uh, putting... Oh, Burns wasn't supposed to be in there. It was supposed to be Marcus Sorensen. Again. Burns. Definitely like those black alternate uniforms. Those are pretty sharp. Rob Goudreau from 93-94 Fleer Ultra Rookies or Prospects insert. And a Thomas Hurdle. That's an OPG parallel. That's the, uh, I can't even remember what they call them. 
but the Opeachy throwback. Oh, you're still hanging around, huh? Did you uh, <laughs> put it on your phone and you're listening on the drive to work? The Net Defenders. Was that the... Okay, the Niemi. Alright. Okay, so that's your... Okay, so that's... I'm going to write you... Well, I'll write you as what you're signed in under, just so I don't uh, confuse it. X generation. So that was Niemi. Okay, so Burke, so you just want one of each of the sharks? I'm is what I'm taking it. I can go through and do that. Just confirm that that's what you were saying. So real DFG. Pull the Latang canvas. Kessel trilogy. So there's Kessel trilogy. Latang canvas. Come on, where are you? Why am I not seeing the Latang Canvas? Oh, there's Latang Canvas, Kessel Trilogy, and the two Malkin Trilogies. Two Malkin Trilogy. There they are. Two Malkin Trilogy. Parkhurst, Roni, and the Parkhurst Crosby Checklist. Parkhurst Rowney. Those were the only ones I could remember. Um, okay. Okay. So we'll get it. So Rowney, Crosby, the two Malkin trilogies, Latane Canvas, Kessel Trilogy. And then I will go back through these penguins since you, you said the SPs. We can. Uh, what do we got here? Real DFG. All right. And then Burke said, yep. So you want to get one of each of those. Okay. So let's do this first. So SP Malkin. Different, different year, but SP Flurry Malkin. I'll just pull all the SPs because that's what you had mentioned. And I'll show them all together. SPs. Okay. Okay. So I've got, so all I have in that SP is the Malkin. That's the, uh, That'll be the 1314. I think these are 1415, aren't they? No, these are 1617. In 1617, I got Matt Murray, Flurry, and Malkin. And then Brian, I'm gonna work on this for you while we wait. Man, I appreciate everybody hopping in. Everybody, uh, so you got a Jumbo Joe there. Everybody uh, also being patient because obviously it's not the best of Saint Marie. We'll do that one. Do you want the? Do you want this Thornton? This like uh, prospect card? If you don't, tell me and I'll take it out. Otherwise, I'll leave it in. That's just the easiest way to do it. Okay, so there's the Ear Bay and the Marlowe. One Thornton. Okay. Parkhurst. Hockey's fun, man. And I mean, the thing is, too, you know, uh, hopefully uh, DFG won't kill me here for uh, giving out the secrets, but it's a lot. It's a. Uh, you know, you haven't seen the price spike that you've seen in other stuff. I mean, like anything else, you know, the higher price guys are, they're going to be higher price, but in general, you haven't seen the, uh, 
pass on the prospect, okay? Okay, I will do that. So those are the OPGs. I don't have any more of these OPGs. So there's those two, the canvas. That thorn we've already done. We'll put one there. There. And those are all singles. There's no doubles there. All right. Got all these added for you, Brian. And then, oh, hit the camera. Wah, wah. And then DFG, one of each of the SPs. Malkin. Okay, so that'll be four more of those. Oh, and then you had said the 75, 76s as well. Dum -diddy dum dum. Make sure they're not doubles. I don't think they were. No. Okay, they are separate. All right. So I'm adding those two and then one of each of the four different SPs I had to your stack. Then, okay, so those are the sharks that are going back. All right, Brian, I'll catch you later, bud. Appreciate you hopping in. Have a good one if I don't catch you. Yeah, no, I agree with you. I mean, that's I'm just not as into hockey, and to be honest, I mean, the, the reason I'm not into hockey, and I mean, I admit it makes me a bit fair weather, it's just because the Blackhawks suck now. They're they're just so god awful. They I can't even watch them. Um, if the Blackhawks were good again, I'd probably be a little bit more back into it. I got spoiled when I got back into it. It was the year after the Hawks won the first uh, of those three cups. Um, and it was exciting for a few years, but now they're just so horrible. At least I had the because uh, the because I live in I live in Arlington, Texas now, and my wife has been a Stars fan since she was a little girl, and so at least I have the uh, the Stars to cheer for as well. Yeah, hopefully they'll be decent again soon. We'll see. But I got the Stars. I mean, Stars made a solid run this year, so that was fun. And Victor, I don't know that my my voice is all that soothing because man, I, I I cringe anytime I click on my own videos to like share them on YouTube or uh, on Twitter. I have to turn the volume off because I hate my voice. But as much as I hate my voice, I like it better now than it was when I was in college. I uh, was on the the sports staff for our college uh, radio station because I went to school for TV and radio broadcasting. I wanted to be a sports announcer. But I tell you what, I like my voice a lot better now than I did then. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Just if your team's not that good, I, I don't, I, I don't know if it's just that it seems like there's a bigger difference between a good and a bad hockey team than maybe there is in other sports, or what it is. But just yeah, I mean, just bad hockey's hard to watch, and you know, the Blackhawks are there again, and I mean. Honestly, they're probably not going to be good again until Kane and Taves and Duncan are gone. As much as I mean, obviously, I I love them all for what they are, and they help bring three cups. But you know, they're older and they're being paid on these huge contracts. So you know, they had to get rid of so many guys, and then you know, they even get Brandon Sod back, and he doesn't do anything near what he did when he was there the first go round. Uh, Shaw, my guy. Uh, came back, you know, they got him back, but then he was hurt, and did he officially, re I don't know if he officially retired, or he may have officially retired, I'm not, I can't even remember now. Well, yeah, you could get tickets for cheap, I mean, but of course, uh, <laughs> I'm a Blackhawks fan in uh, the Metroplex Dallas area, so uh, that's not gonna, that's not gonna happen, but uh, definitely like going to some Stars game. Stars games, but again, they're good now, so it's not even a not even a thing. Yeah, those pre Crosby pins were bad. I mean, because I grew up an hour south of Pittsburgh, I grew up in Morgantown, West Virginia. So, 
yeah, those teams were those teams were pretty rough. And I was run, I was uh, a store manager for Lids for a few years before I got into the corporate office, and I ran stores in Pittsburgh. Yeah, those teams were those teams were bad. We couldn't give Penguins hats away. They got that little bit of excitement when they drafted Flurry, um, and then obviously Crosby came after that. But yeah, they were they were a hard team to watch. Then I watched a lot of hockey then. I mean, I was never a Pens fan, but I did watch a lot of hockey, but I wasn't watching them. I actually had, uh, I think I had bought the center ice package one year. For whatever reason, I was watching a lot of Vancouver Canucks, probably because I was working until 1030 at night. When I got home, all that was left were the West Coast teams. So, yeah. But yeah, Victor, I appreciate you just even having the stream on, you know, as you're sorting and doing. I, uh... I'll do that sometimes, like if if, uh, if my wife's not home at the time and I'm sorting. That's a lot of times what I'll put on. I have certain videos kind of in my watch later that uh, I decide to uh, go through. So X70, is there any other teams you want me to go through? I've got the hockey sorted by teams. Brent, how's it going, my friend? I hope you are well. Don't know if you're on the road or what's going on uh, this week for you. I need an update about uh, what you uh, mentioned to me about a week ago. <clears throat> Hill Country. Good to hear. So yeah, um, I don't know if you caught me, X70. If you want to, uh, if you got any other teams you want in particular, I know you were interested you were buying, when I was doing this on Twitter, you were buying a lot of those uh, 76-77s or 75-76s, whatever they were. Um, you know, I've got these sorted by team, so I've got some more of those. Uh, if you got any teams you want me to go through, that's just how I had, all the other stuff had been sorted by team, so when I went through and did the hockey the last couple nights, I went ahead and just did it by team for consistency's sake. Any hockey's good hockey. All right. Oh, 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 as far as other arenas. Yeah, I, uh, so I never, I've been a Blackhawks fan since I was, uh, like in junior high. I grew up in Morgantown, West Virginia, and got a, uh, got a stereo for like Christmas, like my seventh or eighth grade year, and ended up being able to get, uh, WMVP out of Chicago on that stereo, and that's what turned me into a Blackhawks fan. Um, was out of hockey for a few years, got back into it the year after they won that first of the three cups because I had moved in Indianapolis to another place and the cable I had had the Chicago Sports Channel on it. So I got to watch the Blackhawks again and got back into it. Um, had never gone to a Blackhawks game. Um, got a job to move down here to Texas uh, to be with my wife, who was then my girlfriend. Um, and the day that I accepted the job to move down here, she bought us tickets for the 2014-15 season opener. It was the Blackhawks at the uh, Stars, and that was my first hockey game ever. So uh, we've gone to a couple of Stars games since, but yeah, that was that was super fun. Um, she uh, she bought that, like I said, she bought those tickets that day, and it's like, hey, look at this. And then before we went to the uh, the game. I came home from work one day and she had bought me an Andrew Shaw sweater and had it laying on the bed for me. She's, she's one in a million. She's one in a million, but yeah, so that was my first, uh, that was my first hockey game. And we've been to a handful since, um, it's just the Dallas, you know, to get to Dallas with the traffic, when you get down to the AAC, it's about, ends up being about an hour journey each way. And, you know, games aren't over until 10. So it's 11 or midnight before you get home. And, that's what it comes down to. So that's why we don't, uh, that's why we haven't seen as much as, uh, you know, we, we haven't gone to maybe as many as uh, would like to go to. All right. Got your text, man. That is awesome. Winning is uh, old Charlie Harper would say. All right, well, okay, so X70, you didn't ask for anything, and I know DFG's in here, so what the heck, let's just let's just go through some other hockey, just for fun, until anybody else, uh, anybody else requests, yeah, man, saw the tweet, that is awesome, you know I'm excited, and I'm sure you are too, 
just a re- just a friendly reminder to everyone in the room that wasn't here. I voted. You should too. So we'll go through my Blackhawks. I love those black uniforms. I wish they would use those as an alternate uniform again. Hour north of Pittsburgh, so is that more? Uh, so it's not quite eerie yet. I'm not a hundred per hundred percent sure where. Uh, I'm trying to think, yeah, not quite eerie because I think Erie's a couple of hours. Crawford, Roenick, Chelios. Got a lot of Blackhawks. That's kind of why I grabbed them because over the years I've just acquired a lot and. As I've pared down my collection, I love these old. I love these old teams. Check team checklists. Eddie the Eagle. Oh, okay, about halfway between Erie and Pittsburgh. Is that up there near the outlets? Is that where you are? By Steve Cusano. I know Victor, not Victor Vernon Wells, did the uh, baseball checklist uh, for a long time. They were doing them right around I eighty. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Ronick, Ronick. USA, Dominic Hoshik. How different could the Blackhawks have been had they uh, kept Hoshik and not Eddie? As much as I love Eddie, as much as I love Eddie, I think time ultimately uh, told that Hoshik was the uh, Hoshik was the better goaltender of the two. I mean, they're both Hall of Famers, but upper deck NHL. <laughs> Gotta love the uh, the sweater, the generic upper deck. I want one of those. At Belt Four. Kaner. Not my favorite Blackhawk, but, you know, guy can score. Is that Chelios? Anybody want a creased? Patrick Kane, numbered out of 100 for a quarter. It's numbered out of 100. It wasn't bent when I bought it, but it is now. Wah, wah. Crawford, glad he's done. Was never a Crawford fan. Now I'm just giving opinions. Osa, future Hall of Famer, Eddie the Eagle. It's a great shot. Chelios. Hey, Mike, how you doing? Oh, sounds good, Brent. Completely understand. I will catch you later, my friend. Have a great evening. Jeremy Morin, rookie for a quarter, numbered out of 499. Anyone? Bueller? Yes, let's chat soon. Text me anytime, amigo. If I can't reply then, I will definitely reply, though. What's going on, Mike? How be you? Nobody's really requesting anything, so I'm just going through Blackhawks cards now because I got some hockey guys in here. So for you guys that uh, X70 and DFG uh, Canadian cards, he's a hockey guy. He's north of the border, A. Eh? Honey, I did have a few of those. If you want the rest of them or anything, you can have them. Okay. Do what now? You're not going to say Vila? Okay. I think it'll be pretty quick then, I guess. Okay. Grove City. Yes, that is the outlets. I couldn't remember for the life of me what it was. Dominic Hoshik. Is his name spelled wrong on that? Isn't it D O M I N I K? Dominic with a K there. A good old score decided to spell it with a C. Man, I never thought about that, Mike. If you've been to Grove City, man, back in the day, I lived because uh, I lived in uh, I lived in Pittsburgh for a couple years, and I grew up just south of Pittsburgh, kind of an hour south. Small world, sometimes, my friends. Small world. Yeah, we were talking about bad hockey earlier and cheap hockey tickets. That reminds me, I was saying that uh, I was running at uh, one of the li- a couple of the lid stores in Pittsburgh, uh, like Flurry's rookie year. But yeah, that's something I remember. A lot of people coming in uh, to Pittsburgh that were uh, fans of other teams because they could come to Pittsburgh, 
get the tickets, stay in a hotel, and it was still cheaper than getting their home tickets held hostage there by your wife. But yeah, they, uh, I'm trying to think, uh, I mean, it was, I, I figure it was Toronto. Cause I mean, I know Toronto tickets are super expensive either, even when they're struggling, but yeah, people would come down. Yeah. When you had the major teams, we would even see, cause I, my store was between the Pittsburgh airport and downtown. I ran, I actually ran the Pittsburgh airport lid store for like 13 months. And then I ran the store at Robinson town center for a couple years before I got promoted. Um, but yeah, I would have people, you know, coming in to see their teams in Pittsburgh because they could get the, the tickets cheaper. Miscut Vintage. Iserman. Yes, I do have some Iserman. We'll, uh, we'll stop this. Let's see what we got. I do know I saw some, though. Mm. Not a big Red Wing stack, but there's definitely uh, definitely some in there. Four-hour drive. Used to go to a sports bar in Pittsburgh. The dance floor was a boxing ring. Cheap beers. Yeah, I was never really too much of a go-out person. I'm an introvert. So there's uh, some Stevie Y. Team Canada. Upper deck cards. That's the 99-2000... UD Choice, I believe, or is it 98.99? 98.99. That's the checklist card, I believe. The uh, base cards down in here somewhere. Skypox, Impact, Geyserman, Paul Coffee, Sergey Fedorov, Fedorov, Fedorov. Fedorov. I feel like people forget how good he was. Is he in the Hall of Fame? Is Fedorov in the Hall of Fame, guys? There's a Steve, there's the 98.99, the base. Iserman. Yeah, sure. Alright, we'll get through him here and I'll pull the I'll go ahead and pull the Iserman's to the side. Different ones, so anyway. So Fedorov is in the Hall of Fame. Okay, cool. Or I'm assuming that's what the yes is to. Let's Fedorov coffee. So let's see that guy's room in again. There's an eyes room in. I'll put one of these Team Canada's in there. If you don't want the Team Canada, just let me know. I'll take it out. I did love those jerseys when they were on the anniversary. Those were pretty cool. Here's a Stevie Y uh, holographics with some uh, some shine to it. The yes, it was for yes. Okay. <laughs> Better off. Just Gus Nyquist. Larkin. Another Stevie Y. Parker. I got a box of these uh, on my uh, unopened wax shelf. Someday I'll crack into those on a rainy day. I think I got the box for like five bucks at a card show. A couple years ago, another Iserman. A checklist I had already pulled for you, one of those. So, Parker's, I think these are retro, they were inserts. Okay, yeah, I will set those aside. And we'll talk, we'll figure out what you, what you need to do as far as where we need to ship those to for you. Oh boy, that vintage is uh, beat up pretty badly. So, Roberto. Samantha, Barons, okay. Larkin, Larkin, might be it on the uh, Stevie Wise, Franz Nielsen, Larkin, Hextall, Brian Watson. Sounds good, Mike. Have a good one. We'll chat at you later. I appreciate you popping in. And if I'm still going a little bit later, maybe I will catch you then. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten of them, Dan. But I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and put those up there with your name on them. But if I've already set those aside, 
Anything else you want to see? I don't think uh, don't think I have any burlies, and if I do, I'll bet you they're not burlies you don't have already. Yeah, no problem. Happy to do it, man. Like I said, I'm excited to uh, excited to you know clean out some of this, and because this was going to be show inventory, so I was going to set up at Rich Klein's. Uh, charity show his uh, synagogue show this month but uh they just they elected not to have it just with covid and you know just the the facility maybe wasn't uh you know airflow maybe wasn't what they wanted so they passed on it so i just figured i'm gonna go ahead and uh try and try some different things i don't have any basketball dan um, didn't have any pulled, but I don't know that I would have had any Dominique anyway. Um, so that probably wouldn't have been one I had, because honestly, I kind of, I do keep, uh, anytime I get a Dominique, I do kind of, kind of keep it. You said Florida, and I pulled out the Flames. That's not what I wanted. Panthers, Panthers, maybe got a stack of about 20 here. Uh... Yeah, I mean, Dan, I'll have football, but kind of like the baseball and the hockey, they're all sorted by teams. Um, not a whole lot of 80s and 90s, but there's definitely some mixed in there. Um, Florida, we got a Beezer. And we got another Beezer. Yeah, if there's any certain teams or anything, though, let me know. And uh, after I get through these... Uh, Canucks and Panthers. We'll uh, check that out. So this Luongo's technically it's a team candidate it's from that 98-99 choice. It's not really with Florida, but I feel like that's what he's most known for. So I threw that in there. Beezer. Luongo Parkhurst. Luongo MVP. OPG Platinum. Trocheck. Huberdo. And Riley Smith. Man, I wonder if they wish they had kept Riley Smith. Pull out any Luongo. One each can do. Do you want the Team Canada one as well? I'm going to put it in your stack. If you don't, just tell me and I'll yank it out. What's going on, JT? Appreciate you popping in. It's been pretty good. Uh, had, a lot of, had a lot of guys jump in. It's been pretty exciting. and haven't really had to talk to myself too much. Maybe just right, right at the beginning. Okay. Yep, it's down there in your stack. Derek McKenzie. Trochek Canvas. Two Trochek Canvas. Stephen Weiss Canvas. Some Barkovs. Luongo Upper Deck Base. So I got one of those in your stack. And an Opeachy. I'll put that in your stack. And then a... Markstrom canvas. So let me know if you don't want any of these, but these are the Luongos I'll go ahead and put in your stack. Panthers back in there, and I believe you asked for Canucks, wasn't it? So what are you up to, JT? Just doing the, uh, <laughs> doing your eBay thing? <laughs> Just throwing, uh, throwing something on to listen to? It was a Florida Vancouver, so it was Canucks. Okay. A few more Canucks than that, probably around 25 or so. So these, kind of like that one Luongo, these were from the 98-99 Choice. I guess you'd consider them prospects or something because they're technically not with Vancouver here, but the Sedin brothers. I don't know that I have any Jordan Greenways in there, but I will check. I do have a few wild. So there's the Sedins. That's the plan. Well, thanks for, uh, thanks for checking in, man. I do appreciate it, and thanks for the retweet. I will fight anyone that doesn't think that these Canucks sweaters were one of the best ever. I wish they would go back to the color scheme. I wish they would go back to these ones. 
the ones with the V on the neck are okay, but I mean these are these are so much better. Uh, like I said, I will fight anyone that thinks they're not. Cortanen, Platinum, Horvat, Parkhurst, a couple of Horvat artifacts, Messier, Upper Deck Choice, Starquest, very shiny Pavel Bray. There's a better uh, picture of the uh, that sweater I was talking about, although it's not focusing very well. I know some of you guys aren't hockey guys, but yeah, the Canucks with the skate. That's uh, just a. Uh, they're gonna have those as an alternate. That's awesome. I love those. Kessler Hockey Day. Beret Canucks. A lot of Beret in here. Messier Canucks. McGillney Canucks. I forgot McGillney had played. So here at this point he had only 315 goals. But that was one season of 76. Is McGillney in the Hall of Fame? I'm going to assume no. It definitely seemed like he tailed off after those first two or three years. Beret SP. A couple Ryan Millers. Predek Ice. Sedin. Those are the acetate cards. Should be in, but isn't. Yeah, I mean, he dude was a beast for a while. So that's the team card, but that's Beret. I do kind of like these these sweaters with just the stick logo too. That's kind of cool. These are the Canadian tires. I think they're called Coast to Coast or something, but that Horvat. Yeah, I'd agree. But I mean, I guess when you score 76 goals one year and then you don't get anywhere close to that ever again, I don't want to compare him to Brady Anderson because, I mean, he was, McGillney was still a top tier player for quite a few years, but I guess maybe that one year being so good made everything a disappointment. Former Blackhawks announcer and general manager Dale Talon. I was hoping he would go back a couple years ago. Don Lever. Now we have a Jacob Markstrom canvas with the Canucks. Troy Stetcher. Mike Robitaille. So... What we got here? We got four beret blue star quests from 98.99 choice, and then Messier 98.99 choice star quest blue. So I didn't see uh, didn't see anybody claim anything from Vancouver. That's cool. Thousand points, 400 career goals. He should be. Yeah, I. That's one thing I will say. As much as I, you know do enjoy hockey. I enjoy it more when the Blackhawks are good than I do when they're not. I don't necessarily know what those, uh, you know, those, those numbers are, you know, as far as goals and points and what you should, uh, what you should, uh, have and be in the hall of fame. It is Nino Niederreiter, Charlie Coyle, Gillies. Yeah, I put the, the old North Stars cars with the Wild. All right, let me get through these guys real quick here. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm going to have any Greenway. Uh, give me just a second, guys. I will be right back. Stella, <laughs> stop it. Back momentarily. your wishes I am back had to oh, my wife is heading up to her office for a few minutes should take her longer to drive there and get back than she'll actually be there working from home but she has to go up five or six days a week because she has to get paperwork to do after pretty much every work day all right I will be here DFG all good Oh, man. 
What else? What else? I'll throw these out there in case anybody's watching, just in general. Because I think I got some dry sidles in here, and I believe he is finally kind of starting to live up to his expectations. So there's a Messier, Nugent Hopkins certified. If anybody wants to claim anything, just say the word. Taylor Hall, who's no longer there. So there's a couple of dry sidle OPGs from, I think, three seasons ago. Excuse me. The Nuge. Nuge Trilogy. Jake, how you doing, man? Appreciate you popping in. The bad news is I don't have any hot. I don't have any basketball. Didn't quite get that sorted yet, but um, a lot of people have been popping in, so it's been pretty successful. And uh, maybe I can find some basketball to uh, throw in next time, or in my next one I may do a dollar sale, and then in that case, probably more likely to have some basketball. I kind of feel like in basketball, everybody's either a common or they're at least like a dollar card. Not a whole lot of quarter type guys. Luchik, Nugent Hopkins, Platinum. Okay, Patrick Waugh. Okay, I can go through. Uh, I know there's some. I've got some of his in the Canadians group and some in the Avs. The Iserman's were, I think a couple were newer. Uh... Yeah, a couple of them were from within the last handful of years, and then most of the other ones were mid to late nine or early to eight, early to late nineties on the Isermans. Yeah, nobody had really asked for Oilers, so yeah, we'll go through the Avs and Canadians because I know I know there's some walls in both of those. All right, so here's the stack of Avs. So it looks like we've probably got about a good 40 or so. All right, what do we got here? Forsberg. Let's get focused. So we got a wall there. Sackick. Another wall. Both of those two walls are from 98-99 Choice. I do have Nordiques. There's a just a couple of Nordiques, but I did go ahead and put those in there. Another wall. I pulled one of each wall out if you don't want them at the end. No worries. I just figured I'd go ahead and pull them out. And it's always easier to just pull them out and then throw them in than to do the reverse. More McKinnon. Miko Rantanen. Rookie. So another. There's a couple more. So this is the checklist, and this is the just the base wall. Upper deck wall. Wall makes 63 saves and a triple OT classic to win the cup. I know with my Blackhawks, I love any card that uh, involves the the cup. I definitely uh, collect all of those. Another that same wall. Kenan Forsberg. So 93-94 insert. That's another one of the Nordiques ones. Sakic Forsberg. Wall again. Galliardi. And a Scott. Okay, yes to all five laws. Sounds good. Don't know how many more there will be, at least with Avs. Let me know if you're going to want to see uh, the Canadiens ones, too. Not sure if you're an Avs fan more or have no preference. Land of Scott, Land of Scott. Sackick, Landis Scott, 
shiny but not Patrick Wall. So that wall was already in there, I believe. Yep. So then there's this wall as well, the skybox impact. Fond memories in with the abs. Sounds good. All right. Yeah, see, to be honest, I'm not 100% sure, Jake, where you are. I don't know. Are you in Colorado? I guess I've never really, never really heard, never done all of that. Um, yeah, I don't have any rookies. <laughs> I don't have any of those at all. So I got those six for you. I will throw those into so thanks everyone for popping in and taking a listen joining in it's definitely like i said gone a lot better than i anticipated no you're in new england okay oh okay makes sense when bork went there got him his title championship it's just so weird. I just never can think of Ray Bork <laughs> as a member of the Avalanche. I just, I mean, he's always going to be a Bruin to me. But I can understand you followed him, because so I don't know if that means you're actually a Bruins fan, or just don't even pay that much attention to hockey in general, other than a couple of guys. <laughs> And Dan on the Eisermans, I don't think that I have anything else. I don't think I have anything that would be in a dollar box or more. So probably those quarter box cards are are going to be actually what I have. Hi, Stella. Stella has rejoined me. What else we got here? Anybody got any requests that's in here? Did somebody ask me about a certain player? Did I miss something? Did she give me the card numbers for Eisermans? Don't want to rebuy them on sport lots. Yeah, let me... Uh... Yeah, shoot me do, me... do me a favor, Dan. Shoot me a message. Uh, shoot me uh, on Twitter. Just shoot me a message, and I will get pictures of the back of the cards for you, and I will shoot those over to you. But that way, I'll shoot you that, so you'll have the number, and you'll have the year, and you should kind of be able to at least figure it out what it is. But yeah, just shoot me a message over there, and I will get that taken care of you for, uh, it might be tomorrow. Um, but I will absolutely, actually, just let me do it now. Nobody's requesting anything at the moment, so I will get these and get those back to you. But yeah, if you uh, if you're doing it on a phone, you know you should be able to zoom in. It'll kind of give you the the year as well. Yeah, I definitely understand. There's definitely those. Uh, little things about buying on sport lots that's not the most convenient as much as i love it i was telling uh who was i talking to earlier i was talking to somebody earlier about sport lots i was talking to john newman uh sports card nation podcast that uh yeah i've got a i've been putting stuff in the sport lots box since early in the year and at this point, it's like it's going to be like 40 bucks for me to ship it home. I mean, I've saved a lot on shipping, but part of the uh, reasoning was so that it was... Uh, I didn't get like... I couldn't even tell you how, begin to tell you how many orders it would be because some of them are small. But I'd have had so many orders come into the house, and I wanted to try to avoid that. So... Um... Anyway, yeah, so eventually here I'll uh, get that all sent back. Uh, 
get all those sent home. But I mean, I got, I want to say I bought, and Jake might have some appreciation for this if he's still in here. I want to say I probably bought close to 200 Charles Barkley's alone. I went through at one point, <laughs> was finding basically everything. Um, oh, I see Jenny had sent me a, uh, I see she had sent me a uh, message now. All right, Dan. Um, these are coming across for you. All right, Dunsky. But yeah, so I probably were. I bought uh, man, I don't know, two, three hundred. Charles Barkley cards because I kind of want to just put some of those you know things I had as a kid back together and in some cases if they were cheap I was buying multiples so I could have the bet you know pick out which one ever is the best and you know, I'll just turn around and sell the other ones they'll probably at some point here if I do you know another quarter sale a year from now on here uh, there's gonna be a shit ton of Charles Barkley's on there that's for damn sure oh so how long we been? How long I've been going now? Two hours and fifteen minutes already. Not too shabby. All right, I'm going to take this quick uh, moment to uh, go grab a drink. Just since nobody's in right now requesting anything, I will be right back.
Oh, Stella. Come on. Get back. Stella. Stella, you need to take your toy elsewhere, sweetie. <clears throat> it's pretty excited. John from Sports Card Nation podcast sent me a little kind care package. Some John Means cards for the Mountaineer collection. Awesome. And Alec Minot, I just decided actually this week that I was gonna start at least collecting some of these for the for the old rainbow. Thought this was super cool. We had this, I had to get some of these made. Just like a little little poker chip. Get one made with my logo. Focus. There we go. I thought that was super cool. If anybody's listening, got anything they want to see, give me a holler. Just let me know. <laughs> Pirates and Steelers. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't think there's much because, uh, so if you heard me mention, I grew up an hour south of Pittsburgh. Well, guy I grew up with, we went to school together from kindergarten to uh, all the way through high school, graduated together. Um, yeah, I don't have any Steelers, uh, and I think my Pirates is limited. Um, but yeah, I grew up in our South Pittsburgh. He's just got back in to collect it and he's actually, he wiped out, um, all the Steelers and I think most of the Pirates, I think all this Pirate stuff I had, I actually added in recently, but, um, here's what I got. It's not, it's probably a stack of about 25, but yeah, so that's the Archer Turkey Red from series one, uh, Thomas Wagner, I don't remember exactly what the set's called, but this is from Series 1 as well. It's a die cut, DOD, and it's something decade of, probably decade of dominance or something to that effect. You want that Wagner? All right. I got a Newman. He's not with the Pirates here, but this was a Panini Contenders baseball. A Nick Birdie rookie. So this card is very beat up, but I think it's a 76, very beat up, so probably nobody will want it, but Pi Trainer, Sporting News all time, yeah, it's even got somebody had written, apparently Greg S. liked to write his name on all of his cards as a kid, uh, here's another one of those Chris Archers. Wakefield rated rookie man. I remember when Wakefield came up and just the phenomenon. I think he was eight and one that rookie year. Is that right? Yep, there it is. Eight and one with a two fifteen ERA. He was pretty badass. Bonds eighty eight tops. A couple of Josh Bell turkey reds. I believe those are both from probably both from series one. I don't know that I even have any series two stuff. A couple of McCutcheon, Bowman pristine shinies. 
Newman, Kevin Newman, Bowman Pristine. So shiny. Uh, Kevin Newman, Kevin Kramer from that same contender set, not Pirates uniforms. So a couple of former Pirates. So there's a Bill Madlock. This is like a senior league card from, uh, it was from a box set, but I pulled some of the names out and I just, I associate him with the Pirates. So I threw that in with the Pirates. And then from the same set, a Clint Hurdle. Just because I associate him as the manager. So there's that Nick Birdie again. Jeff Locke, Bowman, gold rookie card. Jason Kendall, tops rookie. And that's like a that's an actual tops rookie. It's not like one of those reprints or anything like that. So I got a buddy back home in Morgantown. Um, big Pirates fan too. A, a different guy. And he's talked about, when he used to blog, he's he's not blogged in a while, but he used to always talk about Jason Kendall had some of the best cards as far as pictures. You want that Kendall? Okay. He uh, Now, granted, that's not the great photo, but he had so many great action shots on his card, and I'd never noticed it until he had mentioned it. So, Will Craig, Bowman, Bowman I think I said pristine earlier, Bowman Platinum, Mitch Keller, Bowman Platinum. And a Gregory Polanco, Bowman, Platinum. But yeah, I had never noticed it before. Uh, a couple more Wakefields. Bonds and Benia team checklist, I think, or team leaders. But yeah, now I can't unsee it. If you look at Jason Kendall cards, they are always pretty, uh, pretty badass. Wakefield, 93 tops. Bonds, 91 score franchise subset. 91 MVP and 91 upper deck. I can't remember what his batting stance was, but I do remember that it was definitely uh, different. So just or like uh, you know discernible, you could pick it out. And I know what you mean though, because even though by the time he was really in the bigs, I was already done with baseball. But as a kid, I emulated. Uh, I tried the Julio Franco at one point. I tried the Jay Buhner. I tried the Mickey Tettleton. I tried all the, the fun, uh, interesting ones. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I didn't... Uh... So, yeah, I didn't do Kendall, but I definitely did some other ones. So... I sent you those cards you had bought on Twitter, and I guess I didn't even, uh, I guess I didn't even realize you were, uh, like an hour north of Pittsburgh. Somehow I missed that. Um, so these are what? Pirates. So yeah, unfortunately I don't have any Steelers at all. He, uh, he cleaned me out of those. Look one more time just to make sure, but yeah, Seahawks, and then I don't have any, so... I do apologize for that, but yeah, it was a guy I grew up with, and uh, he's just getting back into collecting. Um, I mean, he stopped. I never stopped. I started collecting uh, when I was in second grade, uh, 87, and so he's my age, and he stopped, I want to say, probably, you know, into elementary school, um, and he's just getting back into it, so he's buying a lot of old stuff and all that. Hey Dan, don't worry about that. We'll uh, we'll talk about that later because we might be able to uh, P PWE that if you want me to. So um, just go ahead and email me though the ke Kinsley at yahoo.com. That is my PayPal address as well. But if you want to just shoot me an email there and we'll we'll go from there. Or if you just want to pay and you just want to go ahead and do it with the four dollars, it'd be one dollar. So like two, I mean, because you only got, you got 10 cards. I might be able to PWE those if you want me to try. Um, I haven't had any issues with PWE, but I also know some people don't like to do PYE so, or PWE. So that's completely, completely your call. Whatever, whatever works best for you. I'm easy to get along with. 
I just hate to see somebody pay $4 uh, shipping on 250, uh, <laughs> 250 uh, in cards. That's just, I guess, my uh, way of looking at it. So did you want to, uh, like I said, with the hockey, again, I did know, oh, I did want to, I was going to show you these just because you had bought some of those, uh, I think they were the Ginter inserts. So I didn't know if these were anything. This was a, uh, to the X70. Um, this isn't an insert. But I, I know you like some of the oddball Ginter inserts. This is actually from the set, so I just figured I'd show you this just in case you had any interest in that. I, if not, no worries. I don't anticipate you will. And these were a couple of Topps Heritage inserts. So I just thought I'd uh, show those to you. The, I don't have any more of the Ginter inserts. I think you, got, you must have gotten them all. I must have posted them all. And... You got them all uh, back when I was doing the uh, the Twitter sale. Um, if there's any other hockey teams or whatever, again, because of those, uh, I know some of those older, uh, so I got a, you may have even picked up some of these because I may have had multiples. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. No worries. You may have bought some of these, but there's one of those golden seals from that set you had bought some from. There is a Rick Hampton. I want to say you actually got that, Jim Pappen, but I could be wrong there. Actually, I need to go put that in the wild group. I changed my mind. And There's a Golden Seals. Cami Granado. She's not from that set, though. But nonetheless. All right, other hockey here. Star, North Stars. I'm putting those with Wild. We in Dallas don't claim them. And then Golden Seals goes in the other hockey. All right, sounds good, Dan. We'll, uh, like I said, I'll, I'll get a hold of you and we'll, we'll figure it out from there. Uh, no hurry on my end. I'll start replying to emails hopefully this weekend. I did figure you, and I did figure you had a U.S. address of some sort, so um, I figured you had somebody you could take care of that with. Yeah, super awesome. Kind of like these. I feel like somebody else had done something like this, and I had like just one random one or something. I need to find it. I think it was with my old stuff from when I looked up here with. Um, let's see what else, what else, what else. Who's Canadians? What we got here? Yeah, just nothing else really stands out. I know some people had said some Braves. I guess we're just waiting on uh, some of the uh, other folks that may potentially show up. Let me go retweet this. My wife should be home with dinner here any minute, so I'm going to head out. I'll drop out a little later. Sounds good, amigo. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, appreciate you stopping in. Totally get it. You know, so uh, doing this, uh, working around, you know, with my wife in the other room and then heading to work. So have a great one if I don't catch you again later. Um, but we'll go from there. Just shoot me uh, shoot me an email and we'll we'll get everything squared up and we'll go from there. Well, that's random, Cherie, popping in. I didn't even know you had a YouTube account. Thanks for joining in and 
coming and listening to my very, very soothing voice. At least that's what uh, someone else was telling me that it was in the in here earlier was telling me that it was soothing. Hope you are doing well down there in Florida. Is that hurricane heading your way? I was pretty excited to get a, a John Means 206 for my collection. But yeah, I was saying John sent me, uh, yeah, he sent me some of these with, uh, so I got not only the base, but then some of the, the parallels, and of course I love, I love anything teal. Teal is my color, aqua, I don't know what these are called, teal or aqua, but I definitely, definitely love those. A couple of optic colors, love those. More John Means. Shiny. No hurricanes. Lots of booze. Coming to see if you're showing my nephew. No, don't have any cards of him for sale. Those are mine. I got a, I got a couple of them, but they are mine. I would love to see him. Uh, so, they have cards, like minor league sets produced by Tops, And you know, I'm hoping he'll be in there one of these next couple of years. I mean, if he's going to make it up to the big team, it's very possible... The only problem is with him being a reliever, maybe not. But if he's going to be a closer, uh, maybe someday. But yeah, he's got one card, and I've got it. I got two copies of it. If he uh, ends up with a whole bunch of tops cards, I'm going to send you like 50 of them so he can sign them all for me. But yeah, that'll be uh, super cool. Definitely send me any links if you find any more uh, stuff where uh, you know they're talking about them. I had sent you that one, and then you had sent me another one. But yeah, super cool. Hope he'll be up with the Cubs here in a couple of years. That would be pretty awesome. <laughs> he will, just watch. Top secret. It's not top secret if it's on my YouTube. If it's on my YouTube page. Everybody will see it. You know it would be awesome? If he got traded to the Rangers. And then he'd be a Ranger. And I'll be a Rangers fan. Give me a reason to watch baseball. Oh, man. I think it may just be you and I now. I'm just kind of doing this and holding on through the evening for more people to show up and ask me to, to show them teams. Colby, what's going on, amigo? Good to see you. How are things? <clears throat> but yeah, thanks for stopping in. Um, I've been going for, what, about two hours and 40 minutes now, and uh, it's been pretty, I've had a lot of people in here. I've had uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guys pick up different things, so pretty successful, and again, you know, I would think that, you know, as the evening goes on, the next couple hours should be a little bit better. That would be, uh, so yeah. My Yankees have been completely cleaned out. <coughs> and there you can hear hear Miss Stella barking. There must be somebody outside. Stella, hush. <coughs> Stella, hush. So I'd ask my friend Cherie, she's in Florida. I don't know with that hurricane, is that, is that getting you? Is that any of that uh, rain or whatever getting y'all in South Carolina, Colby? Yeah, this is actually kind of now, this is the most, uh, the most, I will say, inactive I've pretty much been since about 15 minutes in. I've uh, been uh, real successful. A lot of guys have jumped in. I've been pretty, pretty stoked about that.
ran through earlier, but we're good. Awesome, awesome, good to hear. I mean, that stuff's just hurricanes, man. That stuff's crazy. We had, uh, we don't really get, you know, I mean, we're far enough inland that they never really bother, you know, at least the hurricane aspect, but man, we, we will get a lot of rain and wind sometimes up here, so I know what, uh, I know what you could be going through. You want me to, uh, you want me to run through some Braves, Panthers, Panthers fan? Yeah, Braves, Panthers, Braves, and all the Carolina teams. If you're coming in just to chat, that is awesome as well. Love it. I've got, I mean, I got a lot left. It's all by team, but I mean, it's it could be a little bit of junk wax, but most of it's probably from like the 2010s and. And so on and so forth. I'll just show them off. All good. No worries either way. Klesko 93 Fleer Ultra All Rookie. 84 Tops Dale Murphy All Star. Albies, Turkey Red. All right, Cherie, have a good night. Enjoy your wine. So we got we got three uh, three Albies Turkey Reds. Those are for the Series One. The Freeman. Hold on one second. You need uh, an Albies and a Freeman Turkey Red. There is a decent amount of Freeman in this group, I will tell you that. Um, so, one of the guys on Twitter cleaned out. I did have a bunch of Braves. I mean, I had, like, a lot of, like, 60 Maddox and, like, 20 Chippers. And he cleaned pretty much all those out. Um, Sorry. Okay. Anyway, so Upton Prism Silver. I don't know. It's like 2013, 2012, something like that. Uh, did a, did a 2013. Freeman Pinnacle. Freeman Freeman Bowman. Freeman Base Tops. Nothing special. Freeman Big League. I'm just going to go through them slow in case you're typing or anything. Freeman looks like 2012 Ginter. A couple of Freeman Bowman Platinums. Looks like the sun's going out, so my my lighting's not nearly as good now. Because most of my lighting was from the uh, outside sun. Freeman Tops. Jeremy, what's going on, amigo? Freeman and a Heritage RBI leaders. Just living the dream myself. Uh, you know, had a lot of people hop in. It's been pretty good. Crime Dog. Crime Dog. Whole bunch of Crime Dogs here. Crime Dog. Crime Dog Pinnacle. Yeah, it's been, uh, I've had, I was telling Colby, I think I've had about 10 different people uh, claim some stuff so far. So it's been, uh, it's been good stuff. They haven't claimed any of your Astros. All right. Chad Sabatka, this is a. Uh, it's a uh, uh, Bowman First Refractor, Braxton Davidson, Bowman Chrome, ref uh, Bowman Chrome First Refractor, 
a word mini I'm not a team collector so it's fine yeah. I know you like your Astros though all good Tehran I don't know if this is a prism of some sort it does say it's a prism so I'm not sure if it's a prism parallel or what with the blue Phil Necro looks to be from probably from finest not sure Back to the Freddie Freemans, it appears. Freeman, finest. Hayward, that's a chrome. You want that blue Tehran prism. Okay. Got it. And the finest Freeman. Okay. Got it. Yeah, nobody had asked. Nobody's gone through the Braves yet, so you're getting first. Uh, you're getting first pick at least in this part of the sale. I mean, like I said, somebody, some guys grabbed some on Twitter. So that's from Series One. It's a die cut, Aaron. Not gonna be around long. Take all the refractors and prisms. Holy crap, dude! Like just everything. That's a. That's a lot. Take that die cut Hayward and Aaron. Okay, so there's Freeman Stadium Club from a couple of years ago. So there's the Aaron. The Hayward. Cap it at 30. Alright. I'll uh I'll have to grab them as I start going through. Are you talking you're talking all teams across the board? So Austin Riley, decade next, twenty <coughs> twenty. Austin Riley. Freeman Gypsy Queens. Freeman Base Tops All. Okay. I will have to uh, grab those as I uh, start going through other teams, but we'll do that for you. Absolutely. And then I will uh, I'll let you know from there. With that Riley. Okay. So there's Smoltz and then another Albies. You want that Riley. Okay, Riley. Not sure how I got a Brewer in the Braves. Well, now I know how I got a Brewer in the Braves because they are very, uh, they were back to back teams. <laughs> teams in sports. If someone in the room wants it, they can take it. All right, sounds good. Y'all, uh, It'll probably be, I'll probably be able to come up with $30 worth because uh, that'll be, at that point, that'll be 20 cents a card. So, I, yeah, I probably can do that because there is definitely a lot there. I mean, not necessarily the biggest names, but there's some there. So I will do that for you. Andrew Jones, 99 Bowman. We got some Glavins. Lucas Sims, and that is a Bowman Chrome Refractor. Dion Sanders. The Band of Brothers, so that's Upton, Upton, and Hayward. I did not know that the two Uptons played together in Atlanta. I learn something new every day. So that Hayward has like a, almost like a gold or a bronze background. I don't know if that's a different parallel of some sort so you may have a bigger better idea than I do but I don't feel that's what the normal card looks like Lucas Sims mini Bowman Chrome Upton die cut Hayward Chrome and that looks to be a refractor Take that gold. Okay, I was thinking it was. It definitely looked to be something different because I, I feel like I've seen those before. And the die cut Upton. All right. Gotcha. You're right. Maddox Collector's Choice. Maddox Stadium. 
tops. That's the 2020 decades best smolts. Sims, and that is a silver, or not a silver, I'm sorry, a refractor. Justin Upton is a silver prism. It's just not showing with my lighting now. And a Maddox SP. And that's what I have on Braves. Smooth 2020. Um, uh, not sure what you mean by smooth twenty. Oh, smolts. Okay, sorry, wasn't even uh, wasn't even catching that. All right, got that for you. Alright, so let's see what we got in the way of Panthers for you. Uh, you did miss the Trout updates. Somebody snagged. I had like 45 of them and somebody got them all for a quarter apiece. Sorry about that. It was, it was in between because you didn't ask for them when you were here before. So it was in between. Alright, so here's what we got Panthers. Nobody's looked at these either, Colby, um, except that Burke took a couple of DJ Moores. So we got a Keekly Donner's Classics, Keekly Score. Kind of throwing it back there with a old Julius Peppers tops. Julius Julius Peppers Fleer Authentics. It's a team leaders. Muhammad, Burline, Jay Williams, Mike Minter, Eric Davis, and Tishmanga Biaka Batuka. And this one's uh, Steve Smith, D. Brown, Jared Cooper. You want that? Um, I showed off some Pirates stuff. I don't have any Steelers. Um, I showed off some pirate stuff, and some of that was snagged. Um, Dan, I'll have to come back to you on John Beeson. Um, I'm not sure. I feel like he played for the Jets. I don't know what team. If it was Jets, somebody has actually cleared me out of Jets. Steve Smith. Uh, Kenyon Barner, and this is kind of like the foil, rainbow foil version of that. Stephen Davis, 50th anniversary. Jonathan Stewart, I believe that was from a box set. Keekly, Rookie of the Year contenders. Oh, Panthers, okay. Uh, we'll see if when we get through here. Um, I haven't seen any yet. Uh, all the Pirates was not claimed, so I'll get back. I will go to that. We will get back to that. I will get that for you. Deshaun Foster. This is like a bazooka gold. It's like a thicker cardstock. Oh, okay, Panthers and Giants. Is there? Did I? I had a Steve Smith. Oh, Steve Smith. All right, got that for you. Did you want? Or there were two. Did you want this Steve Smith or the single? Or both? And then the Keekly die cut for Colby. Just let me know. I pulled both of those Smiths. The one's a three-player card, and then the other's a solo card. Kelvin Benjamin, Rookie of the Year contenders. Kelvin Benjamin, draft. Kenyon Barner. Brandon LaFell, this is a die cut, and then it's got almost like a cracked ice. Cracked ice. Okay, I got both for you, Dan. Uh... This is a Brandon Cooks and Kelvin Benjamin. Kurt Coleman. I just did that because it's very shiny. Star Lotu Lili. Thanks, Jeremy. Good luck, man. LaFell. 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 Is that this one? Yes, LaFell. 
or Colby and the Coleman. Okay. Gotcha. D'Angelo Williams, this is the blue parallel, and then it's kind of got a mirror, mirror to it as well. Jonathan Stewart, green parallel, I believe. Hey, my wife made it to work. Yay! All right. D'Angelo. I'm assuming that D'Angelo there. If I'm wrong, just let me know. And Stuart. Stuart Green. Okay. So this Stuart, these were from the box set. I think I already had showed you one of those. Greg Olson score all hands team. Julius Peppers. I don't know if that's a red zone parallel or what it is, but it's some kind of red parallel, non-numbered. Team colors, Brandon LaFell from Classics. Unparalleled Christian McCaffrey. That is a that's got a bronze name on it. And then this Greg Olson unparalleled has a silver name on it. Okay, so you said another LaFell. Okay, so that must be this LaFell. I figured somebody would want the McCaffrey. It's in there. A couple Kevin Benjamin, Kelvin Benjamin Valor rookies. I just like to say Tim Bianca Batuka, so I had to put it in there. Steve Smith, and this is again that blue parallel. It's kind of got a, a rainbow look to it. You wanted the Olsen. Olsen. Got it. I think that was the one I was showing was the Steve Smith blue. Do you want the Timmy or were you just saying Timmy? <laughs> Uh, another Richardson Lutalele. Just let me know if you want it. I'm thinking you're just shouting his name, which I get totally. Tony Pike. I remember that guy playing at Cincinnati. So these ones, uh, I had to look the players up because they don't have a team. They don't have Carolina. So, oh, you want it? Okay. Uh, all right. So these, this Curtis Samuel and this Fred Ross, they don't say uh, Panthers in any way, but I looked them up, and that was who they either said they were drafted by or are with. Oh, okay, awesome. Timmy Bianca Batuka. Uh, Leaf draft, uh, Luke Keekley, and this is a blue parallel. This technically says Vikings on the back. Uh, this Teddy Bridgewater, but it's... You know, it doesn't have an NFL uniform on it. So I thought I'd throw that in here and see if anybody was interested in it. Curtis Samuel is in your stack. So anyway, that's a 50 Bowman Mini reprint. You want that key clay? Got it. Uh, but anyway, so that's what that Bridgewater is. It does say Vikings on the back, but it doesn't have any other Vikings marks. Uh, Keekley Bowman. Jonathan Stewart, all pros, and it's a die cut, as you can see at the bottom. A couple Kelvin Benjamin, throwback 86, tops chromes. And I'm assuming you'll probably want this, McCaffrey, select. Going to sit it in your stack, assuming you want it. You want the Keekly. What's the Keekly Bowman? Got it. Stewart, got it. And I'm going to assume you want McCaffrey, too. I could be wrong. Select McCaffrey. All right. That is, uh, that is the end of the Panthers. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any basketball, so I don't have any Hornets for you. Um, and I don't think you're into hockey. I have a little bit of Carolina, but not... Not too much. So, Dan, I've got those two. I'm putting those in yours. Now we're, we might be kind of getting to where, uh, yeah, going well, Brian, going well. Um, Dan, I was going to tell you that uh, we might be getting to where I might not be able to do a P PWE, so we'll we'll figure it out. Um, so here was your stat, Colby. Keep 
Keekly, Keekly, Samuel, Timmy Biaka Batuka. Love that. Greg Olson, yeah, I gotta I might have to see if I need to turn my overhead lighting on, but then I'm gonna have a different kind of glare. Fell. And then on to your Braves. All right. So let me get you written down here. All right. <clears throat> Anything else you want to see, Colby? You good to go? Any other teams or... You know, I don't want to keep anybody hanging around if they want to pop in and out. I know some people probably just turn it on, have it in the background, just trying to be cognizant of what everybody's looking for and what they need. And I know Dan was at, oh, we we're talking about Beeson. Yeah, he was asking about Beeson, and I didn't uh, did not come across any in there, unfortunately. Do I have any Lance Berkman in the Astros? I don't know, but I have a crap ton of Astros. <clears throat> so we'll take a look and see if we do. Um, since you were asking for one guy in particular, I'm probably not going to. I'm not going to show them all off, or well, I guess I will, but I'm going to fly through them. I don't recall any Berkman. But that doesn't mean yeah it's just not ringing a bell but I do have like I said I got a crap ton of Astros so it's always possible Yeah, no problem, man. Like I said, I mean, that was part of part of why I wanted to be on for so long was so that I could kind of, as much as I could, you know, look for individual stuff for guys. Um, instead of trying to, like, say I'm pressing it all into two hours. And, of course, people come in, you know, some guys were here earlier and had to jet, you know. Um, some guys won't be until later. So, yeah. This is the last stack, so. Bags. Yeah, doesn't look like I got any. That sucks. Sorry about that. To be honest, to be honest, Berkman probably is in the 35,000 commons I have, to, to be honest. Um, just wasn't anybody I would anticipate people asking for. I mean, I know he was a good player. So, that's probably, if I had any, that would probably be where they were. Um, that 
35,000. I'm going to run through one more time. So if I remember, if I see Berkman and I remember, I'll let you know. Um, yeah, may get through those this week. And I meant to do it last week, but I'm going through one last thing for like pulling certain teams for people and stuff like that. Um, so I can see if I can make some trades with them before I just basically dump whatever's left. It'll probably be about, you know, 30,000 cards. Just try to sell them for like a hundred bucks or something on uh, on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> ah, I got the hiccups. I don't know if I told you, Colby. I did get the. Uh, Still setting up with that show. No, that's a part of why I'm doing this is because that show was going to be next month. It was going to be Rich Klein's show. But they decided not to do it just because of the venue. And they were a little concerned about, you know, adequate ventilation with all going on. So that's kind of why I'm doing this. Um, I really want to do that. There's a big three-day show in a couple of weekends. But tables are super pricey. It's in a, It's in the Allen Convention Center. And I actually set up that show last August. It was the very first one. But I had two tables, mostly like dime boxes and dollar boxes. And I had maybe a half dozen people sit down and go through those things. And even they didn't buy that much. Um, but they sat down just for a few minutes. And I lost. I didn't even cover my table fees. I lost my shorts and spent three days there and had my wife there on Saturday with me. So... I'm not going to be setting up any of those big shows again unless it's way down the road and I have, you know, much higher dollar inventory than I have now. But yeah, that's a, like I said, that's a big part of why I'm doing this just to see if I can move some stuff. And like I said, I've been pretty successful so far. You made the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you made the ninth guy to claim some stuff. So that's pretty good. And I know there's some other people that are, you know, at least said they're planning to try and hop in. I mean, stuff happens. Not everybody can make it in. But uh, what I was going to tell you is, did I, uh, I don't even know if I let you know that I did get your stuff, uh, your package from the group break stuff. Um, I've been real bad the last couple weeks. I've, my back's had me down. I've pretty much come in here to work and then gone straight to bed and just been in there. It was like laying on an electric blanket all evening and night for about a week and then the last couple of days I'm starting to get a little better but I've been working on all this stuff so I've been real horrible about uh, pictures and thank yous and, and stuff like that so I did get that if I hadn't told you that I, I do apologize and down the road I'll be getting into some more of your breaks I don't even you may even have I may have even got I think I may have even no, the last one I got into was before you shipped it. It was that uh, upper deck stuff that uh, the world, whatever, something, futures, I don't know. So I don't have anything for it with you right now. But yeah, I'll eventually be doing that. <laughs> A handful of those cards uh, actually made it into these uh, these quarter boxes. I went through them a couple days ago and they made them in here. I still... Uh... You're just, you don't understand why I'm talking and nobody's here. Oh, my stupid dog. I love her. Mm. Yeah, it did. I apologize for that. Got a few boxes left, but I'll be taking a short break. Until we're... Don't blame you, man. Probably got a lot of family stuff going on because I know you, I know you got a wifey and some youngins. So, yeah, don't blame you. It's fun, and I don't mind getting into them. I guess the only thing for me is with the older stuff, why I don't get into maybe more of them is I'm just not that into baseball anymore. But I don't mind getting into some of the new stuff, you know, and taking some chances on prospecting and gambling just a little bit. But on those, I know that's obviously what you're going for is the affordable breaks. And, you know, I don't really... I mean, I was an Indians fan back then, but I'm not collecting that stuff now. So, oh, I did say no Steelers. You asked about Pirates. That's right. Not a whole lot of Pirates, DFG. Anyway, not to, I was done talking, Colby. I wasn't trying to cut off on, you know, cut off on you or anything like that. Um, no Steelers, but these are the Pirates I have. Um, 
somebody did grab a few. The uh, X70 grabbed a few of them. Nothing spectacular or anything like that. Bonds, 91 score. Another Bonds, 91 score. 91 upper deck. Yeah, no, I agree, Colby. That new stuff is just so expensive. And, I mean, I haven't opened anything myself. Uh, I opened that Ginter box last Thursday. Um, but other than that, the last thing I had really opened myself that was newer was uh, Prism Basketball last year when I was going around searching for it. Yeah, just stuff's too expensive. It's ridiculous right now. Will Craig, Bowman Platinum. Mitch Keller, Bowman Platinum. Gregory Polanco, Bowman Platinum. Yeah, not a whole lot. Not a whole lot here, DFG. Lock, Bowman, Gold. I think I had a couple of these. Nick Birdie, Rookies. So this, the Madlock, and the, the Clint Hurdle are from a legend, like a, what was a Senior League box set. But I associate those guys mostly with uh, Pirates, him from managing, and just Madlock from playing, so that's kind of why I put him in there. Kramer and Newman, I always chuckle about that. They're not Pirates cards. They're uh, Panini contender, or, yeah, contenders, like college cards. Newman, Bowman, Platinum, a couple McCutcheon, Bowman, Platinums, Josh Bell, Turkey Reds, these are from Series 1 this year, 88 Tops, Bonds, rated rookie, Tim Wakefield, year after his 8-1 start, this thing's all beat to hell, but it's a 76 Tops, Pie trainer, just because it's an old Hall of Famer, I just figured I'd throw it in here for a quarter if nobody wants it. Completely understand. Um, Newman, another Panini Contenders non Pirates card, and then a couple of Chris Archer Turkey Reds. I know how popular uh, <laughs> how popular he is with the Pirates fans, though. Since the, yeah, he's not quite a. Uh, not quite made up for giving up uh, Austin Meadows. So, if there's any of those you want, that uh, just let me know. I'm gonna go ahead and throw them back in the box. Well, put them, place them back into the box. But uh, nothing, nothing real special there. I was telling uh, X70. So I have a buddy that I grew up. Well, not really a buddy. I mean, we're acquaintances. I would say. Anyway, we grew up together, kindergarten all the way through high school. Uh, he got out of cards in about probably about sixth or seventh grade. And he's just gotten back into it. He's got a uh, son, so he's starting to get back into it. And he went through and bought just about every Pirates and Steelers card I had. Uh, just everything, because he just hasn't collected for 30 years. So uh, everything was new to him. So you want everything but the 80s and 90s stuff and the busted up trainer. Okay, I can do that. On the, the Do you want multiples, or do you just want one of each? Because, like, the Archer and the Bell, I had two of. Um, and then I just want to verify that you still want, like, the Newmans and Kramers that are not... Uh, that are not with Pirates. I just want to make sure not to give you something you weren't wanting to have. One of each is fine. Okay, we'll do that. Yeah, I just don't want to, yeah, don't want to have somebody uh, be like, why in the hell did you put this in here? Not that I think that I would, but, all right, so, one of each is fine, so, one Kutch, one Bell, one Archer, Newman, one Birdie, all right. So here's what I'm adding to your stack. Be the one of the birdie rookies. The Newman Bowman Platinum. The Bell and the Archer Turkey Red inserts from this year. A Kutch Bowman Platinum. The Newman Panini Contenders. The Lock Bowman Gold. 
Polanco Platinum, Keller Platinum, and Craig Platinum. If that looks right, just let me know. Did I yank out those? Uh... Oh, I took these out by mistake. I don't. Okay, perfect. Okay. Did you want these two, by the way? Somehow I pulled those out by mistake. Just a uh, yay or nay. Either way, I'm good. No problem. Um, those are from like three years ago, four years ago, I think. Your call 100%, obviously. No thanks on those. Okay, no worries. All right, Colby. Thanks for stopping in, amigo. Shoot me an email, um, and we'll uh, we'll settle up. Or if you don't get me an email, I'll uh, I'll get in touch with you. Obviously, I know where to find you at, so sounds good. Mm. All right. So I got these. Got DFG. Okay. So have a good one, brother. All right, DFG, I got you. Just so you know, I got you. You're at uh, 22 right now, 22 cards. Just so you had a heads up at where you were. I don't know if there's anything else you're going to want to see or not. Oh, man. I can't believe I've been doing this for three hours and 15 minutes already. Oh, man, this has been, uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. Done pretty well. <laughs> Take a, uh, I don't see anything from you. Not to steer back to hockey. But how did you... Yes, they're broken up by teams is how I have those broken up. No, I mean, you're, I'm completely good with going to hockey. I mean, I know my clientele on uh, hockey is going to be pretty limited. But, yeah, they're broken up by teams. I did that. I did them last, but the baseball and football were already broken up by teams. So, for consistency, I just did it that way. I mean, but you're the only one in here. So, if you got something you want me to search for in particular, I mean, we can go through, can go through team by team. All good to me. Said so honestly, I'm probably planning on being here at least another couple of hours. If, uh, if I can pull through. But yeah, whew. Can't believe I've been going 315 already. I did, uh, oh, there it is. I mean, I definitely know a lot of people don't collect by teams, but also with it being uh, lower priced stuff, I figured it was kind of catered more toward the low end team collector and not too many people uh, do sets anymore. So, you know, build sets. I mean, I know some do, so I didn't want to do it that way. Garen, ah, oh, I. Honestly, I would almost guarantee there are no Garen cards in there. 
um, just because he wouldn't be a superstar enough to have a base. And I did just do these last uh, over the last couple nights, and I do not. I mean, I'm happy to look. Um, just, just fair warning, and I hope I'm wrong, but I will definitely take a look here real quick. But yeah, because I don't think I like I said I don't think I would have put um, his base in there. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. When did he retire? I'm having a brain fart on if he's been retired for like a decade or if he only retired like three or four years ago. I'm yeah, just Okay, so No Garen and the Devils. And the Devils is one of the teams I have more of. Um, because I had bought a lot of rookies off of somebody, and he was a Devils fan, so he had cleared out a lot of those. 2010, okay. Yeah. Uh, Devils. Oilers, we already went through Oilers. I know he wasn't in there. Uh, Bruins. Yeah, nothing Bruins. And that's the thing, the, kind of that era of that, you know, mid-90s to 2010, I don't really have much of, hence probably not a lot of inserts or parallels. No, uh, oh, excuse me, don't have any stars at all because they are local. <laughs> we went through Sharks. I do not have any, do not have any of him with the Sharks. And I'm looking through the Eastlanders now. How do I get a Ryan Nugent Hopkins in the Eastlanders? Nino Niederreiter. I got some Ziggy Palfy and some Brian Trottier. Some Gary Desjardins. Yeah, sorry, Bingo. No luck on that one. And I don't, uh, like I said, I, my stars are elsewhere because with them being local, I, I actually set up with uh, all those, so I don't even have those have those with me. Sorry about that. That would probably be another one where, uh, oh, the Trottier. Uh, I, I think it was the, uh, I think the one I saw was a Sport Kings. The, the Sport Kings issue from a couple of years ago. Yeah, this one. And then this is the uh, retail version, I believe. I believe they had different text colors for the retail. And, uh, oh, you won't, you, yeah, you won't. I've got two. I assume you just want one, but I just want to verify. That's probably going to be the only Trottier I'd have because, again, as good as he was, it's just not anybody that really sparks. You know, he's one of those underappreciated guys. So I threw one in there. If you want a second one, just let me know. No big deal. Just one. Okay, no worries. Um, like I said, if there's any other players, I mean, you're the only one in here, so I am happy to go through uh, any teams. But, yeah, a lot of those, probably anything from, like, about 94 through probably 2012-ish, there's probably not much of. I got back into hockey in 2012-13 uh, season um, and hadn't really done much hockey. So even though, And then I'd gotten rid of most of my hockey but still had some left over. Yeah, I don't even know if you would have seen that Trottier before NHL Hall of Famers. Well, I mean, we've got, uh, yeah, we've probably plenty of those. But those will probably be, just as a heads up, those will either be, like, from that recent SP set, like the SP Authentics, where they 
put the the veterans in there, or they will be like junk wax era probably. Um, I mean, if you got certain teams, we can go certain teams. Sackick, I believe he's a Hall of Famer. If he's not, probably will be. I would assume. Uh, Forsberg. I'll set these separate just in case you do. Uh, there's another Sackick. Another Sackick. Law. Forsberg, holographics, nice and shiny. Although it's not really uh, not showing up too well in my crappy, crappy lightning lighting. Let's go. Sundin, Sundin. I don't know if he's a Hall of Famer. Might be. Sack it. I apologize. I'm not necessarily up on my Hall of Famers. I just. Have an idea of who might be. I don't think no one is. Forsberg. Yeah, it's one of those things. But then when you see though that guys like uh, McGillney aren't, it throws me off because I mean I would just assume that there's a Sackick, 9899 choice, Forsberg, and a Wall. Yeah, when you see guys like McGillney, aren't. There's another Forsberg. That's from that 98.99 choice. Sackick, 98.99 choice. Michel Goulet. Looks like an OPG mini of some sort. I believe he's in the Hall of Fame. Wall, Forsberg. Wall. Upper deck wall with the cup. Another copy of that upper deck wall with the with the cup. You want that goulet? Okay. Or were you saying? I don't know if you were saying you want, or he's in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> I guess I don't remember if I said something about. It. Not sure if he's in or not. I mean, I'm just going to go in team name alphabetical order because that's how they are. Want And also, he's in the Hall of Fame. Okay. All right. Put Goulet in your stack. So we'll go Blackhawks next. I mean, I'll have Belfour. Ah, time to take my damn pill. Belfour is a Hall of Famer. Ronick, I think, is a Hall of Famer. Chelios, so I know those guys are in here. Keith's going to be a Hall of Famer. He was on that top 100 players. Taves, he's going to be a Hall of Famer. Although I've heard people say they don't think Taves will. There's a couple of uh, Makita SP Authentics. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, Ronick was actually my favorite player when I was a kid. I don't know if you were listening earlier. I got WMVP out of Chicago on my stereo, so I became a Blackhawks fan during the Ronick, basically these guys, Ronick, Chelios, Steve Smith, Bell Four, Eric Weinrich, Tony Amani, Larmer, Goulet. Those were, those were my guys. Yeah. Uh, JR is a little opinionated. Hopefully, in time, he'll uh, he'll get back in there. A couple of Bell Fours. Host is going to be in. There's a cane numbered out of a hundred that's got a nice crease in it that I bent. I made a mistake and bent it up. It's I've been collecting 33 years and I have damaged very few cards, but of course, a cane numbered out of a hundred I would damage. Chelios, cane, Bell Four. Four, Bell four. Hashik. Upper deck, I guess that would be the French version. 
Guardian debut. Chelios in the black uniform. That's awesome. Chelios, spell four. Old miscut. <laughs> Terribly miscut. Keith will be a Hall of Famer. Kane, Taves, Taves, Crawford, Debrinket, Kane. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, at least it was anything too high dollar. I mean, that's a that's a cane numbered out of a hundred. It's probably a five dollar card. So, thankfully, I've never damaged anybody anything too bad. Even as I was a kid, my my parents always were amazed at I took pretty good care of any. There's a Bobby Hill SP authentic. I took care of anything that had a decent, you know, was a decent card. I mean, my commons I didn't pay care much about. Hashik score rookie. Pitt Martin? Is Pitt Martin a Hall of Famer? For some reason that name rings a bell. I don't know if he is or not. 247 goals. It's a pretty, pretty long career. I don't know. Kane, Kane, Chelios, Almonte, Chelios, Chelios, Upper Deck Choice, Stand Up, Crawford, Crawford. <laughs> Blue Jackets ain't got no Hall of Famers, so we can skip them. Blues, I mean, there's probably there's some holes in here. Pitt is not, but you, you'll take that hole, SP. Okay. <laughs> All right. Bobby Hull. So speaking of holes, the Blues are up next. So there's a lot of... A lot of bread holes in here. It's mostly bread holes and Tarasinkos, I believe. So, what do we got here? Tarasinko. Let me turn this light and see if I can. Does that help any? Oosh. Well, that sure didn't help. I got better off like I was. So a couple of Tarasenko SP Authentics, some Tarasenko Peaches, so Brett Hull Upper Deck Choice, Brett Hull Skybox Impact. It's weird, he was just the alternate. Was Gilmore the captain then? I don't know. Hull doesn't have a C or an A. Hull, uh, this was what, Hockey Day? Hull Upper Deck Choice. Gilmore. SP. Hall of Famer, I think. Joseph's not a Hall of Famer. These are the uh, Hull Hockey Heroes. Probably nothing you want there. I think those are 91, 92. Yeah, 91, 92 Upper Deck. Anybody that wants these things probably already has 500,000 of them. Tarasenko. Another Tarasenko. Just put him up front with the other ones. Gary Unger. Stasny. Shattenkirk. And then a Brett Hull tops. Gilmore. Yeah, I didn't think Cujo was. Gilmore, I, I figured he was. The other thing is I just can't remember in a lot of these cases when these guys actually retired and how long you have to be retired. That's part of my lack of knowledge when it comes to some of that. But I still feel like Doug Gilmore was... I mean, I feel like he played for like 50 years. The Unger... In the Shattenkirk. Okay, 
so here was the Unger. I mean, it's off center, and it's got some, you know, it's it's not terrible on the corners, but I mean, it's they've got they've got a little bit of nicks and wear on them. Uh, I thought there were a couple of there were a few Shattenkirks. There's a Shattenkirk rookies rookies and traded. There were some other Shat and Kirks, but I'm assuming because you kind of set them together, I'm assuming that's the one you meant. I don't know what you mean. What was it? I mean, are you, year 72, 73. I'm assuming that was the Shattenkirk you were asking about, the hot rookies. From rookie and traded. I don't know if there were other Shattenkirks in here. So I'm thinking there was a, a peachy platinum, but I'm assuming that's not the one you meant. Yeah, those were the only two Shattenkirks. Give me the score traded shot, Kirk. Okay. Done. I've got the Unger right in the front. If you uh, decide you want that, I can reach back in there and grab it. Uh, Bruins, not a too big of a stack here. Bork, Team Canada. Bork, 98.99 choice. Bobby Orr, Team Canada. He's back as Bork, that's just a subset from 98.99. Al Sims, that's a vintage. And a Dallas Smith. Don Marcotte. I don't think those guys are all famers. They're just it was an older card. So it's Bobby Orr SP Authentics, Ray Bork Starquest, Shara. Canadians, carry prize. Most of these are current guys. There's a I think 91, 92 Parkhurst, Wa, 92 OPG Premier, Wa. All right, the ORSP. All right, got you one of these. It has been added. Larry Robinson, Team Canada. Yeah, most of this is current. Denny Savard, 91-92 Stadium Club. Maybe... This is 9192, and maybe this is 9293. Denny Savard, Stadium Club. Those would look nice signed. I wonder if he signs because he does something with the Blackhawks. Maybe I should see if he'll sign those. So I'm going to set those out unless for some reason you want them. I bet you he signs by the Blackhawks. Even though they're with the Canadians. I like them. They look good. Guy Carboneau. Can't remember if he's a Hall of Famer. This was, uh, I don't remember what the set was. If it was a, Can a strictly Canadian set. Larry Robinson. Oh, it's too new to be a uh, favor anyway. Nice. 
Robinson Canada. I will go back and get that. So here's the uh, so WA upper deck. WA tops, which is actually relatively well centered, which seemed to be an issue with those. Some WA Pro set. I'm pretty sure they're still printing those over in uh, Dallas now. Another WA Pro set. Parker's Champions. Okay, I don't know if it might be one of those ones where it was only Canadians or something because I know they, I believe they had done a Maple Leafs. Somebody had the upper deck. I'm guessing it was upper deck. Had done the uh, Maple Leafs uh, only set or something. So I didn't know if that might have been the same. So I've got the Larry Robinson Team Canada. I will drop that in your stack. All Legends and Hall of Famers, really nice set. Okay, yeah, that design on it was nice, and the, just the quality of those. I mean, Upper Deck does a great job anyway. But those definitely look good. Uh, Messier, Starquest. Beret, Starquest. Got like four of those. Dale Talon, not a Hall of Famer. Pavel Beret. Oh, okay, gotcha. Pavel Beret. Not 100% sure if he's a Hall of Famer. I assume he is. Or maybe even somebody told me he is. Miguel, he's not. Messier. Pavel Beret. Very shiny Pavel Beret. I think it's like a Leaf Limited. Another Messier Star Quest. Horvat, Horvat, Tannen, Beret, Premier. I'm going to assume when you say I take that, you're talking about shiny Pavel. If you're not, tell me what you were meeting. But I think that's it, probably. Messier. Sedines. The beret shiny. Awesome. All right. Um, give me just a couple minutes, if you would. I'm going to take a quick restroom break, and I will return. And we will go from there. Shiny Pavel.
All right, turn the overhead on. Tend to get some glare off of that because these are in sleeves, but I'm starting to think it might be better than what we were getting otherwise. When I started, I had natural light from outside, but eh, not horrible. Yeah, you can do this. All right, so caps. Um, do the caps have Hall of Famers? I don't think Peter Bonder is in the Hall of Fame. He was pretty damn good, though. Jim Carrey, Sports Illustrated for kids. Dino Cicerelli. He's in the Hall of Fame. A couple of, uh, what are these? 89, 90 tops cards. Okay. Rod Langway, he's in the Hall of Fame. So 89, 90, I got one tops and a couple of Opeaches. Of course, this Opeachy has a print mark on the bottom. Yeah, not much in the uh, way of Hall of Famers for El Capitals. Yeah, I I, th I thought that Dino and Langway were, and I didn't think Bondra was. I loved me some Bondra back in the day because, as I told you, I grew up an hour south of Pittsburgh, and, man, <laughs> I hate the Penguins. And Bondra could be a Penguin killer at times, so I loved me some freaking Peter Bondra. I don't know if the Devils have many Hall of Famers, but I, I think there's some Brodeurs in here. So there's a Skybox Impact Brodeur. Upper Deck Choice Brodeur. That's a subset card. Taylor Hall. Gilmore. Upper Deck Choice. Scott Stevens. I forgot about Scott Stevens. I believe he's a Hall of Famer. Upper Deck Choice. Young Gun for a quarter. Adam Larson rookie. Another Young Gun for a quarter. Alexander Erbaum. Yeah, I kind of remember Hunter being a little bit, but I, I mean, obviously uh, Bonder would just seem to be the one that could just almost score at will on them and so of course that made me love him <laughs> I always had to be, I always had to be the anti guy so there's a Brodor Upper Deck Choice, and there's another Gilmore, there was already one of those Gilmores, so that's all we got in Devils as far as Hall of Famers I guess the Ducks would have a couple. Because so I think there's some Solanis in here. There's a Solani. Another Solani. But again, those are the same. Upper Deck Choice, nothing special. Very shiny holographics Solani. The Black Border Victory. Alright, I will go back and check that out. Upper Deck Solani. I was just really looking for the guys that I knew were at least potential Hall of Famers, so I didn't really put that much thought into it. But I will go back and check that out. Yari Curry, Pinnacle Inside. Those were ones I think they came in like a can of some sort. All right. So that was it on the Ducks. The Black Border of Victory. I think it was right at the end, wasn't it? Steven Gionta. You want that? You want that holographic Solani? Okay. Steven Gionta was the Black Victory. All right. The hollow Solani has been added.
You want the Gianta as well. Okay. Ducks. Flames. I'm not sure what's in here. Flurry, Hall of Famer. Not sure. Like Vernon is not a Hall of Famer. Aginla. I believe will be. Another Theo Flurry. Newendike. Al McInnes. Newendike. Aginla, Team Canadia. No, huh? Hmm. Newendike, 92 93 score. Again, uh, basically a prospect card. What is this? All sport something? Flurry? What's keeping Flurry out? I thought he was, uh, he seemed like he, at least back then, he seemed like he was Hall of Fame caliber. Just not enough stats, not long enough. I know he had an alcohol problem, I don't know. Again, is, Flurry's not, and Dyke and McDennis both are. Okay, I wasn't 100%. I'm definitely learning something today, because uh, I will say most of the guys that I thought were in seem to be in. Jerome McGinley, he's a bubble guy. Okay. And a Theo Fleury, Team Canada. Yeah, I mean, I haven't, like, you know, looked at their final career stats. I just remember Flurry seemed like a beast in the early to mid-90s when I was super into hockey at that time. And the later part of his career, I wasn't that into it. Lindros, subset. Lindros, upper deck choice. Paul Coffey, upper deck choice. Hextalls, Lindros, Blue, StarQuest. This Lindros was a game card of some sort. Lindros, the Parkhurst, these were throwback inserts of some sort. V Vintage is, uh, vintage is what they were, it's V69. Peter Forsberg, kind of Got that he was with Philly for a little while. Renberg did not. A Hall of Famer. A couple more Lindros. Starquest. Both of the Hollows. Oh, okay. So I'll I'll uh, I'll start pointing out the holographics. Then it seems like you like those. Uh, and what did you say? The Hextall Mini. Let's finish off the flyers here. Check, check, Lindros. Old Patrick, Ronick, Ronick, Ronick. A lot of Ronicks in there because uh, and some of those other random teams because I had bought uh, Ronick lots at some point when I had gotten back into hockey and I don't want any of the non-Blackhawks Ronicks. After he left the Blackhawks, he did not. He was dead to me. Although it wasn't his choice that he left. Knights have no Hall of Famers. Hurricanes have no Hall of Famers. Is that Bobby Clark? All right, let me go back. There might have been a Clark in there. Is it my oversight, if so. Should have known. Oh, you know what? I don't know. I'm assuming it's this one. It didn't have his name on it. Is this the one you were talking about? It's got some, uh, come on, let's focus a little bit. It's got some rounding on the corners, on pretty much all four corners. Yeah, I don't know. Is that, I'm assuming that's the one you're talking about, if that was Clark. But I'll go through my other ones and see, because I think he would have stuck out, so I'm assuming that's it. Why is there a flame in there? Okay. 
You want that one? Okay. Will do. Eastlanders. Tavares, 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 Tavares. Palfi. LaFontaine. Not sure if he's a Hall of Famer. It's one of those minis, though, so I thought you might have some interest. This one's pretty rough. Uh, Denny Pot Ben is rough on all four corners. Doesn't look to have crease, but all four corners are pretty rough. Dude, you're not hijacking my show. There's nobody else asking for anything. All good. I mean, otherwise, I'd literally be sitting here uh, twiddling my thumbs. No, all good. I believe Gillis is a Hall of Famer, but that's just a 91-92 upper deck. So, probably not uh, anything you'd be looking for. LaFontaine Stadium Club. Is LaFontaine Hall of Fame? You know, I would assume so, but stranger things have happened. Need a rider. You already got that Troutier. Doug Waite. I think he might be a Hall of Famer. And that's about it on there. Patty Mini. All right. Cool, cool. Yeah, no, you're not hijacking anything, amigo. I mean, like I said, I'd just be sitting here doing nothing. Um... A little surprised it's just this slow at this time, but, you know, maybe it's the whole dinner time thing. So LaFontaine is, Wade is not, okay. Jets, uh, there's Solani Team Canada from 91-92 Upper Deck. Line in. Yeah, really nothing there. Of course, that's because this is the... New Jets for the most part. <clears throat> I knew Pot. I knew Potvin and Troutier. I thought Gillies was. Oh yeah, I'm still going. I'm still going, Dan. Because I mean, I was kind of planning on probably being here until at least nine my time, which is another hour fifteen. Just because, uh, you know, people in and out doing different things, different time zones. But, uh, so there's a there's an Aginla with Kings. Um, so Curry, Tops, Luke Robitaille, Holographics. But yeah, I thought I'd, uh, like I said, probably another hour 15 unless people are picking up. I've been a little surprised, though, that uh, it's been quiet later. It's been quiet for about the last hour. I thought it would, as it got later, I actually thought it would get a little busier. Quick, quick. It's full. <laughs> I'll be here. For now, just going through, uh, basically going through team by team with DFG. Any hollows, pull them out. Okay, so I'll throw the Robitaille in there for you. Um, yeah, basically just going through team by team. Uh, for him, looking for uh, anything he might want, Hall of Famers and stuff like that. I don't think Lightning have any Hall of Famers, but there could be. Who knows? There might be holographics. Yeah, I don't think there is anybody in the Hall of Fame for them yet. Oh, there's a Dino Cicerelli. Pinnacle inside. There's a LeCavier holographics. Initial impression. Okay, I will have to go back. I threw that LeCavier in there. If you don't want it, just let me know. Okay. Oh, I guess I didn't realize San Luis had been retired long enough to actually uh, be a Hall of Famer. Okay, you said the impressions. I must have been back with the Kings. <laughs> ah, Tyler Toffoli. So I'll set it down here for a moment. You can just let me know. Yay or nay on that bad boy. He 
you need that. Okay. It's in your stack. Leafs. I know they got some Hall of Famers. So is it just a like free period, Dan? I'm guessing you said 45 minutes. I mean, that sounds like a class period, so it's kind of what I was thinking. Hey, Marner's not. Nylander. Sandine, 98, 99 choice, but you haven't wanted any of those. Sittler, old pro set, but I doubt that. Gilmore, Team Canada. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking it might be. So two different Gilmore Team Canada's. Basically the same picture, though. It is the same picture. You can tell the the pizza pizza and then the I don't know if that's a, it's not a Dr. Pepper logo Matthews Matthews Matt Sundin Felix is not in there Sundin fell for Lindros Lander Sundin Skybox Impact Poppins not a Hall of Famer Larry Murphy Impact, Gilmore, Impact, Anderchuk, Cujo, and Sundin. I'm going to go ahead and drop those in. If you tell me otherwise, I'll go ahead and take them out. But go ahead and throw them in. Lindros, Gilmore. It's another one of those Parkhurst vintage. All right. Might get you a little hockey lesson there, uh, Dan, because uh, DFG's telling me who's Hall of Famers and who's not. I'm learning a lot. I mean, I kind of have an idea. I mean, I know hockey somewhat, but it's just some of these guys I don't need to, uh, I don't necessarily know. So there's a Messier, Authentic. All right, so there's minis of coffee and Kevin Lowe. I will sit those down there in case you decide you want them. Coffee Team Canada. Messier Tops. Joseph Fuhrer. Yeah, that's what I'm not sure on the Hall of Fame thing. Uh... Both of the minis, okay. Um, DFG might have an idea because I was because he said Martin St. Louis is a Hall of Famer, and I didn't realize he'd been retired long enough. I don't know what the what the number is, and same with Aginla. Maybe it's only three years. Oh, sorry, I need to. Hold on a second, guys. Got a text from my wife. Three years, okay. I mean, I like I said with Aginla and all. I mean, I guess that's kind of why I was assuming it might only be three, because I didn't feel like he was retired very darn long. Panthers, I don't think Panthers have any Hall of Famers. Because I don't think Beezer made it in, and he's about the he's about the height of. Uh, Is my dog whining? Hold on, guys. I'm thinking something might. Um, well, I'll leave the back momentarily up. I think I hear my dog whining. Hold on. No, it's easier. No. Stay back, Stella. You know that you cannot. Alexa, set a 10-minute timer. 
<clears throat> All right, I'm back. Yeah, I didn't think Beezer was in the Hall of Fame, but I was just thinking he's about the biggest name long term outside of Luongo. I mean, I assume uh, Luongo will be in there. Because doesn't, doesn't Luongo, I think, have 400 wins or something like that? Okay, we already went through Penguins with you. Preds don't have any Hall of Famers, or they wouldn't be in that Hall of Graphics because they're old. All right. Rangers. <clears throat> All right. So Gretzky, checklist. Gretzky, GM's Choice, subset. Oh, Richter's not a Hall of Famer. Leach, but, I mean, it's just an upper deck choice. LaFontaine, choice. Leach, Premier. Messier, Premier. Richter. Leach. Blue Star Quest. Oh, yeah, Burre was a Panther. Okay, good call. Flurry, Richter. Leech on the holographics. We'll go back to the Panthers afterwards. I forgot about forgot about Beret. Oh, we already did Panthers. We didn't skip them. We skipped Predators. Or did we skip Panthers? I don't know. I'll go back and look. Yes, yes, and yes. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha on the holographics. Gretzky GM's choice. Flurry. Yager, I should have been taken out, but if you want that Yager, we skip Preds, okay. If you want that Yager, you can have it, otherwise I'm taking that out, because that's actually going to go in a dollar box. Alexei Kovalev, he was a Penguin at one point, and that's a shiny card. Gartner, Artifacts. Whoa, there's a Stevie Y. That's random. Need to see if uh, you got that one in your stack, amigo. Richter, yeah, okay, and the rest of it. So, Leech, Hockey Day. So, we skip Preds, so we're good there. Oh, that's why Iserman was in there, because Red Wings are the next team. Uh, damn, let's see. Okay, that SP authentic. <coughs> <coughs> Already had one of those in your stack, Dan. Mm. Fedorov. 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 Iserman. Team Canada. Fedorov holographics. I'm going to put that in your stack. Tell me if you want me to take it out. Okay, not much on the Red Wings. <clears throat> Sabres. Hashik. Howard Chuck. Team Canada. Another Hashik. LaFontaine Sports. These were like Panini Sports Legends or Donruss Sports Legends. They kind of got the. You can tell it's the Sabres logo, but it looks like they tried to uh, do a horrible airbrush job to get rid of it. Hashik. Another Hashik. And a studio. Hashik. That's kind of a cool one. Hashik has the same birthday as me. <clears throat> and my wife. My wife and I have the same birthday. Different years. Same birthday. <clears throat> so that's uh, Hosa. He's not a Hall of Famer yet. Oh, 
know if the Senators have any Hall of Famers, so there's a host of holographic. What's weird? What's up? I must have missed whatever it was weird. So I guess I'll put the Hosa in there. If you tell me to take it out, I absolutely will. Berard, this was a four sport or five sport die cut. Good old Alexander Degg. Laner. How'd I get a Taves in there? Jeez. Oh, the birthday thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I totally had already forgotten about that. Yeah, just pure happenstance. Um, so, if you really want your mind blown, my birthday is January 29th. Her birthday is January 29th. And our anniversary is January 29th. We got married on our birthday. <clears throat> it was on my 40th birthday, and it was not her 40th. Went through sharks. Not much left on the sharks. Surprisingly, that's about the team that's been claimed the most. Just some Jumbo Joes and one rookie. All right. My dog's barking. Yeah, it does make it easy to remember. Well, and also because it's so close to uh, Christmas, we just kind of wrap everything into one. We don't really do that much for birthday anniversary. My dog's barking. Let's get through. I don't, well, I guess there wouldn't really be anything in Wild. I put North Stars in with the Wild because Stars fans don't claim the North Stars. Danny Heatley. <clears throat> Good old Danny Heatley. All right. I mean, that was wild. That was it. This is the other hockey, but I don't think there's anything in here. There's a Cami Granado classic card. A couple of Kachucks because I wasn't couldn't remember figure out where to put those. So these are some. Uh, these are, I think these are S E Real. I think they're KHL cards, but there's a Slava Kozlov, something different. Just thought I'd show you. Gary Laterra. I only pulled out the guys that I knew had played in the, here and had some name recognition. Alexi Yashin. There's a small Dino Cicerelli. I'll throw that down in case you're interested. Roji Vachon. I gotta go get my dog. She's barking. Alright, I will be right back. I gotta get her inside though. It's already too late for her to be barking. Alright, and back, so I didn't hear otherwise, you'll take the Cami, the Slava, the, okay, let me, uh, so you want the, the Dino Mini, Cami, Slava Kozlov, the Roji Vashon, alright. So I have got all those for you. We've gone all the way through the hockey that I have. Um, I mean, if you want, if you think you're done, I can. Oh. Alexa, cancel the timer. Sorry about that. I can uh, I can count up your total if you want. And because the that. Since we're slow, that's why I was just going to say I can if you want instead of dealing with the email. That's my PayPal if you want me 
to uh, add it up. I can do that real quick. Completely your call. Whatever works for you, amigo. Mm. Yeah, I mean, that's, yeah, we don't have anything else on any of those, all right? Um, that being said, I mean, you don't have to pay tonight, because honestly, I'm not going to, uh, probably not going to get all these shipped up, or blah, 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 uh, packaged up and shipped out, probably package them up over the weekend and ship out on Monday. So, I mean, if you don't, it's not you got to pay, to, I'm waiting on you to pay tonight so I can ship out tomorrow, I won't be able to get it out in time. So there's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Okay, I will. Uh, I will uh, message you. Yeah, I see that it just connected. Can somebody tell me if there's still? Am I back? Yeah, something popped up when I looked up and saw, but can you hear me now? Back. Okay, awesome. Thanks, Dan. Yeah, I will, uh, I'll message you on, I'll message you with the, uh, information on, uh, on, uh, Twitter. Yeah, I can do, absolutely can do that for you. Yeah, I don't know. I know there was something when I was streaming last week. It was telling me something was slow or low or something. And then I hadn't seen that today, but it just saw it when I looked up. Yeah, I'll shoot you that info. No worries. Um, but we'll go from there. And uh, my goal is to get them all packed up over the weekend. And we'll get them out. I'll get them to the post office sometime Monday. And, oh, hey. Spin the pin and hit the hit the cam. But we'll do. Hey, I appreciate you stopping in. Glad we got a chance to go through all those hockey for you and uh, find some stuff. So I will catch you later, amigo. Appreciate everything. Yeah, I've been a little surprised that more people haven't. Yeah, it was like I said, you know, a lot of people don't have card shows. So if nothing else, it's. Kind of uh, as close as you can get to a card show, going through quarter boxes as uh, as you can get, especially with all this crazy crap going on now. Yeah, I'm mildly surprised though that I haven't had more people show up later. I mean, I, I guess there's other stuff. I think Egg's doing an auction. There's the Go GTS show. So I guess that. Uh, I guess I'm just, I got some competition and it's all good. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I didn't do anything with that virtual. I, I don't know that I'm, I don't know, man. I'm 41. I'm a little old. I'm getting a little old for all this technology stuff. <laughs> But yeah, I, heard, I did hear a lot of people enjoyed that that initial expo that uh, that everybody did. I don't remember. I don't feel, was it an Instagram thing or I don't remember how it was done, but I definitely remember hearing about it and that a lot of people were pretty thrilled about it. <laughs> Age is just a number. In a lot of ways, I am very. What is that? That uh. Simpsons 
uh, that Simpsons meme, the old man shakes fist at the cloud. Yeah, that's 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 me. <laughs> In a lot of ways, I'm definitely uh, every day. I feel like I'm getting like that just a little bit more. <laughs> So what's going on in the sports world? And they're like Monday Night Football. Hey, JT! You laughing at me because I'm an old man? Is that what you're laughing at? I wouldn't blame you if you were. At least I know what I am. The outpost. What the heck is that? laughing at the same cloud. My wife fell for my laugh. She did not fall for my laugh, that's for sure. I hate my voice. I hate my laugh. If I could pick my laugh, I would laugh like the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase. But I can't even train myself to laugh like that. That is, that is the, that is the best laugh ever. Metallica. S&M too. What? That's kind of vulgar. All right, amigo. Thanks for stopping in, and I'll uh, I'll message you that information here. Probably uh, probably get you that tomorrow, and we will go from there. Appreciate it. Oh, okay. Falcons at Panthers is on Fox. When did Thursday Night Football get moved to Fox? Oh, I see Fox NFL Network. I was going to say, I thought it was on the NFL Network for a while. JT, I would show you the, uh, we would go through the Tigers and show you the Miggies, but I'm pretty sure you have all the Miggies. I did actually have a couple of Marlins Miggies in there, like a, I don't know, a 2000 or a 2001 Bowman, whatever the black border was, but I know you got that, so. All good. All good. I love how much everybody hates Joe Buck now. I I hated Joe Buck for years, but uh, Brock Meyer has made me uh, Brock the show Brock Meyer. I don't know if any of you guys have seen that. Um, if you have Hulu, it streams on Hulu. But it's Hank Azaria, and he's a baseball announcer. It's very vulgar. A lot of sexual content. Don't watch it with your kids. But Joe Buck is on there, and I mean, he basically just clowns on himself. Like, he just plays up what everybody says about him. He's arrogant, he's pompous, and he just plays it up, and I absolutely love it. I don't know if you all have seen that show. A lot of my Twitter uh, Twitter gifts I use are uh, Brock Meyer related. <sighs> Dr. Pepper, it's the taste of Texas. Yeah, definitely some people put together some uh, some decent stacks. So yeah, JT, what else is? Uh, I wonder what else is happening out there in the the YouTube sphere. I mean, obviously, I don't follow. I'm sure, there's a lot of people doing things that I don't follow. Oh, I've been watching my own video the whole time on a different uh, banner. That's awesome. I know Egg was doing a sale tonight. Hey, I got five people watching now. Appreciate it, y'all. I don't know if it's still counting me as watching. What do we got here? Subscriptions. Let's go GTS going right now. Go GTS Live is going, and so is Egg. Yeah, Egg's got 25 people. I figured going up against, uh, when I found realized I was going to be going up against their show, I figured that was going to gonna hurt a little bit. But, all good. Down here in the eBay bunker. Yeah, Dr. Pepper, man. I still remember the very first time I had Dr. Pepper. Uh, I was with my aunt. 
and cousin. We had left the FOP where we had gone swimming, stopped at a little convenience store, and she went in and got us drinks and brought me out a Dr. Pepper, and oh, life changed. But that was so long ago. It was uh, the glass bottle with the styrofoam labels on them that you can like peel off and peel in circles and all that kind of stuff. Ah, good times. Good times indeed. I just like to listen to myself talk, apparently. But I've said that in my videos. So, what are you going to do? I can't believe I've been going for... Oh, check the video resolution. What's wrong with my resolution? I don't know what that means. The current resolution, I don't know. Am I still going? Can't believe I've been doing this for four and a half hours. Started out on fire, slowed down a little bit, a good bit. But all in all, JT, I'd say it's been pretty successful. I definitely like the concept of having just the uh, the one price point, or the only other. Uh, Or having everything having everything marked because um, I do what I have for my show setup. I, I changed kind of how I was setting up. So you know, I'm having the top stars. They kind of get their own little spot, you know, with the the divider with their name and all that. Um, you know, baseball. It's probably about twenty guys, something like that, and then. Uh, Everything else was just together, but I don't separate them. You know, dollar cards are in there with $5 cards, $10 cards, whatever the case may be. Whatever's not going to go in my showcase. So, um, but I have them all, like I either have a, you either got a price label on them or I have color coding for like dollar cards, $2 cards, $3 cards. So even doing that, and showing those would be pretty simple because I can just put them together by who buys them and then I can add the total up later so I might consider that So JT is the uh, the switch back over to the PWE ship, and I know you said you had a pretty good, you know, you had a you got that bump that first weekend. Is that uh, is it maintained or you know whatever? Is it still still been a steady uptick from where you were before, and you couldn't do it? I mean, I would assume so, but yeah, I also wonder if uh, you know just doing. Because a lot of that stuff, if you're selling it for one, two, three dollars, I wonder how uh, it's night and day. Awesome, awesome, man. I'm glad because I mean I know you're doing this. You're doing this to as you're living. So yeah, I just wonder if uh, maybe running some of the. I don't you almost wonder if running some of those on here, just because then you wouldn't have to spend the time to list each one, pack each one, ship each one. I don't know if you. Uh, print out the address and just put it on the PWE or if you actually handwrite each PWE or how you do it. Because that was one of my things. I was thinking about trying to do that myself, but I was just like so many dollar cards and it just takes... I'm also just not very quick at it because I'm getting old. Old! So I don't uh, do things as fast as I used to. Gotcha. Okay, that speeds it up a little bit. Either that or uh, I would probably do that. Or uh, at one point I had the return labels that I would stick on there. But yeah. Yeah, I don't know that cutting it off a piece of paper and putting it on there, which I know some people do because I've gotten them and then 
you know, on the inside it has the piece of paper with my name cut out, name and address cut out. I don't know which. I was thinking it'd probably take about the same dang amount of time anyway. I better uh, go put the put the lights on for my wife. I will be right back. Yeah, true, and probably as many as you're doing too. Probably that rubber, rubber stamp. Definitely, definitely the way to go. <clears throat> I used to have, like I said, the labels, but I wasn't doing like P PW shipping on eBay or anything like that. I think that might be when I was selling on sport lots and stuff like that. I will definitely say this has been a been an experience because uh, I definitely thought the later it went, uh, that, that was when more people were going to show up. Fascinating. And now I'm watching football for some reason, but I think unless anybody shows up, pretty much when my when my wife gets home, she told me she's on her way. I'm probably gonna tap out but yeah four four hours 35 minutes so far <clears throat> I want to go back and look at eggs comment but I commented on uh, his video from this morning because he did a video this morning saying that he was doing auctions tonight and I said something about it. He, I think he was, I think he, I can't remember if he said it starts to get tougher when you get over $3 on YouTube. Or if it's more like the $5 barrier. Kind of where that, all of a sudden it becomes a lot tougher to sell. So we may uh, just do one of those things where kind of I rummage through and just whatever happens, happens. Like put up the card, like the shipping card right there. And put up, uh, you know, the pricing for my stickers and all that kind of stuff. But still, all in all, did all in all, it's pretty successful. Adds up quickly. Stella, 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 Bella. Yeah, exactly. And I mean. <coughs> You know, I'm not selling high dollar stuff. It's it. I mean, it is low dollar stuff. So it's just a matter of you know getting the people in here. And part of the reason I picked Thursday was just because did have that dozen or so of y'all in here when I did that Ginter box break. 
And I mean, I know there's some stuff in these quarters that probably may not be technically worth a quarter or may just be right at a quarter. And some people are going to want $3 cards for a quarter, but I feel like I did all right. I mean, got like McCaffrey, or not rookies, like, you know, a couple of Christian McCaffreys. You know, there's definitely some names in there. And with it being some older stuff too, it's stuff you don't necessarily see on eBay as much. Are you enjoying yourself, self, Stella, getting your back scratched? Hmm. I don't think you were in here. I had one guy, so I was going through and doing Yankees for somebody. And he picked what he wanted, and then when he was done, <laughs> had somebody else come in and just be like, all right, I'll take the rest of the Yankees. I'll take everything that's left. So that was pretty awesome. Just clear it all out at once. It's like, man, why can't people do that for about five, six more teams? <laughs> what are you doing, Stella? Yeah, I mean, super easy, and I mean, it worked out for me and him, because I didn't have to go through them again. He took them all, and I had done the, you know, buy 100, they'll be 20 cents each, and it's about 110 cards, so it worked out, you know, worked out for both of us. He just hit that threshold. Like, he didn't buy anything else. I don't even know, I don't even know who he is. I don't know if it's somebody from uh, Twitter. That follows me there and just has like a different handle over here that's not even, you know, doesn't even look the same. Or what's going on. What are you doing, Stella? You enjoying this? You seem very relaxed. And then, yeah, like, Colby was, you know, Colby was in here and he took a, he took a good percentage of my uh, Carolina Panthers and... You know, and the guys picked up when they found their teams. They did buy, did buy a, a decent amount of them. But it's definitely worth doing again, and definitely all things considered, I probably spent just as much time as I did on a Twitter sale. And um, you know, between having to take all the pictures and then I had to go back through, probably spent less time um, to take all the pictures, post the pictures. When somebody claimed them, then I had to go back through all the cards. Because, I mean, they're claiming them for hours and hours and sometimes days after I had posted them. So, you know, I had to go back through the things a bunch of times. And I, wa and I wasn't as organized. I didn't have them organized by team at that point. The best I had was they were organized in the order that I posted them. So... All right. I think the wifey's going to be home shortly. You want to check out the Tigers? Absolutely. Mm. Hey, you're on my house, shoe goofball. All right, what do we got in the way of Tigers here? Uh oh, that might be my wife. Alright, I guess this might be my last go. Alright, we'll show you the tigers, and if nobody hops in, I guess I will be done for the night. So I think one of so one of these guys ends up with is with the tigers. I think it was young. I uh, looked that up earlier today. So we got the I assume you're not gonna need any of these Miggies. Most of them I've probably shown you or they're pretty basic. Nah, we'll go ahead and show them real quick. It won't take but five minutes. So there's that Miggy. I assume you got it. I think I've shown... Oh, that's Maglio. Miggy. That's just a base. It's not a prism or anything like that. 
some of these, like like the Sanchez, the only reason it's in there is because uh, for some reason it was already in a sleeve. So I was just like, yeah, just put it in there anyway. Maybe somebody will find something they want. I definitely sold some random ones that I didn't anticipate selling today. So the finest, I think I had shown you that one uh, one night. It is the 2014 finest card number 94FMC. I forgot you sent me that list. I guess I could have looked at that. I hadn't actually opened up your list yet because I hadn't really found anything that I thought might be a, a need. Yeah, always got to have some 90 donors in there. Minis, Austin Kubica, Buck Farmer, Nick Castellanos. It usually tricks you. Yeah, I think I had shown you that one before. So I don't know if this is an error or a total misprint. I think it was an error because the uh, the line goes through the first part of the J when it should be behind it. Victor, Miggy, Ginter. Yeah, some of these, when, like when it's a base Miggy, Ginter from like eight years ago, I'm not even bothering showing you because I'm sure you got it. But now that I have your list, I can look them up. Michael Fulmer... Kevin Zidmek, Alan Trammell, Jonathan Scoop, shoot, however you say it, Austin Jackson, Furlander, Miggy, somebody Boyd, Matthew Boyd, well, I tell you what, with the overhead light, the, uh, the refractor shows off these more, I totally forgot too, Jeremy IPTTM said he's going to He's like, just pull me all the refractors and prisms up to, he said, a certain dollar amount. There's tie cob, die cut from Series 1. Grayson Griner, but refractor. Verlander, Scherzer, Boyd. Band of Brothers, I think I showed you this one, just to make sure. Verlander, Cabrera, Prince Fielder. Thompson, and that's a refractor. Avisel Garcia, Jacoby Jones, Verlander, Verlander, Verlander. Miggy 2014, Ginter. Miggy 2012, Ginter. 87, Leaf, Trammel. Miggy Ginters from 2019. Tyler Collins Heritage. I think this is just one where it was just in a sleeve, so I just kept it. A couple of Mark McGuire, Matt Noakes. Everybody needs a Matt Noakes. I feel like I've got the complete, I'm half damn near close to the complete Cabrera Ginter run. 2018 Ginter. Verlander Tops Chrome. Cabrera Tops. 2014. Oh, you need that? Okay. I'll go back and grab it in a minute. So, Miggy Bowman Pristine. Miggy Tops of some, some year, but I'm sure I would think you have that one. Verlander. Miggy Bowman. Miggy Tops. I feel like I got some, I got damn near close to some runs in here. Verlander. Cabrera, opening day. Cabrera Bowman. Prism, but just the base, no silvers. And then, 60s Detroit Tigers. So I'll pull that Miggy for you. dun 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 there it is. All right. You want those two prisms as well. Okay. Can do that. Sounds good. Is there anything else you want to check out? If there is, we'll make it happen.
so I got those three for you. All right, Dan. Have a good one, amigo. I'm probably I'm probably about to tap out on tonight. So, what football you want to look at? Take a look at it. Have a good one, Dan. I'll talk to you later, bud. Did you have a certain team you wanted football? I don't, I don't know if you meant like Lions or. Seahawks? Okay. Can do that. Alright, where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Seahawks, Seahawks, Seahawks. Alright. About a similar size stack. Locket base. Shot Penny Select Rookie. Will Disley Select Rookie. You got a couple of those. Shaquem Griffin Select Phenomenons or Phenomenal. I can't remember which one it is. So this Cortez Kennedy is a, uh, I think it's a rookie year, but it's his tops traded from the box set. Doug Baldwin, I think that's Illusions. They definitely have a shine to them. Thomas Rawls. Bear in mind, you're probably not going to, I don't think there's any Russell Wilsons in here since it's just a quarter box. Tess Kennedy, Percy Harvin, I believe that's a parallel, the red, and it's got the whatever in the back. Sidney Rice, Marshawn Lynch, Sean Alexander, ultra rookie, Steve Largent, 1987 Tops 1000 Yard Club. Not sure if this guy's there anymore, but it's a. Uh, Josh Reynolds, Optic, and then it's the Optic Hollow. I'm not sure if he's there anymore. There's Sidney Rice, Sherman. Oh, hey, there is a Russell Wilson in there. Probably shouldn't have been, but you want that Reynolds? If you want the Wilson, you can absolutely have it. Yeah, I like that because it's like a green parallel of some sort on that Reynolds. It's a just a it's a sweet looking card. I got it in a break. You can have the rust, yeah. All good. Christine Michael insert. Paul Richardson. Shiny. Refractor ish. Paul Richardson, Dion Bailey. Those are Bowman. They're the black parallels. <laughs> Christine Michael, if he turned out to be something, I guess I'd have some money in here. Robert Turbin, and that's kind of got a refractor look to it. Ricky Waters, Bowman. Steve Largent, Sport Kings, I think these are from 2018. Yeah, 2018 Sport Kings. It's the retail version. Percy Harvin, the blue parallel, has a, like a, a hollow look to it. Robert Turbin, Christine Michael, Earl Thomas, and that's the rainbow black parallel. Dion Bailey, Richard Sherman, black, just basic black parallel. Walter Thurman. This one's decent looking too. It's also a Donner's Optic green parallel. Green something, green hollow or something like that. Not numbered. Russell Oak Kung. You want that McDowell? Sounds good. Oak Kung, Rookies and Stars, Super Bowl, Lynch, Blue Parallel. <clears throat> oh, somebody somebody else in here. Alright, we'll uh, we'll get on that as soon as I get done with these for JT. So Ricky Waters SPX. Ricky Waters Victory, Ricky Waters Stadium Club, Sean Alexander, something. Eddie Lacy unparalleled. Jeremy Lane unparalleled. And then a Lacy Pink unparalleled. Marshawn Lynch Fantasy Focus. So the Golden Tate. And the Marshawn Lynch, both rainbow 
rainbow black parallels. This is Golden Tate, Earl Thomas, Anthony McCoy, Bruce Irvin from the West Virginia University. Christine Michael, Bowman Sterling rookie, freshman phenoms, Christine Michael, Earl Thomas, Rainbow, Richard Sherman, Dominator, Shiny, Jackson Jeff Coat, yeah, Jackson Jeff Coat, 50 Bowman Mini. Thomas Rawls, Boss Hogs. Sherman and Earl Thomas Black. Aaron Curry, rookie roll call. Cool thing about that is I like that green jersey. It's pretty sweet. Mike Williams, parallel. And then Jamal Adams and Malik McDowell. They don't have Seahawks on them. They're pretty much pure college from score, but... I looked them up, and that's who they were. So I got those. I uh, already got those set aside for you, JT. All right. Seahawks back in. All right. Sounds good, bud. So I got those set aside for you. Okay. Klejana, show me Astros. All right. I have to go through these one at a time. I can tell you that Yankees, somebody actually already purchased every one of my Yankees cards. So... <laughs> Astros is a pretty nice stack, probably about 150 cards. So, Bregman Turkey Red from Series 1. A couple of those. Springer Turkey Red. Springer 2018 Stadium Club. Verlander. Come on, why is my focus off? There we go. Another Springer Stadium Club. Correa. Biggio, Altuve's, Pettit Clemens, Fulte Rookie, Springer Turkey Red, Bregman Turkey Red, Springer Turkey Red, Bagwell Decades Best, Oswald Decades Best, Altuve Tops, Yeah, we can talk on that. We can we can figure that out, JT. We can just do a just do a video chat or something. We'll get that get that going. No worries. Altuve Prism Fearless, Biggio, Ginter, JD Davis, First Bowman, Bregman Chrome Update from last year, All Star, Biggios, a few Biggios. Just if you see something you like, just let me know, and I will. Pull it. Springer. Yeah, no problem, Mega. We'll get it. Just do one of those uh, streams and show you, show you whatever you like. Verlander, Biggio. Correa Home Run Challenge. That is unscratched, just as an FYI. Was not used. Singleton. Keiko. Bregman Bowman Platinum, Five Tool Springer, Cole Verlander Turkey Reds, Bregman Gallery Springer Fire, Bijou. That's kind of got a. It's a Bowman Chrome. It's got a refractor finish. I don't know if they're all like that or not. Altuve and Verlander. Bregman. Correa. Correa. Cole. Perez. J.D. Davis rookies.
is Bregman, Musgrove, Correa. That's the uh, it's one of the variations. The Shorea, Altuve, Bregman's, Springer, Altuve. Verlander Chrome updates from last year. Verlander Stadium Clubs. Biggio Tops. Houston's Heavy Hitters. That's Altuve and Correa. Oswald. Springer. Correa. Altuve. Bregman. Bregman. Verlander, Bregman, Keichel, that's the blue, Heritage, Chrome, Purple, I believe those were the hot box cards. Springer, another faulty rookie. So that's a refractor, refractor, Correa, that's a Bowman Chrome recommended viewing. Gray uh, Fulty. Yep. All right, JT. I will catch you later, bud. Have a good one. Okay, so these are these next three are all refractors Colin Moran, Mark Apple, Michael Feliz, Cole, Correa, Correa. Josh James, Kobe Clemens, and this has a refractor. I don't know if they're all that or not. Correa, Shields, Correa's, Altuve, Musgrove rookie, bunch of Bagwells, Flair Bagwell, Flair Bagwell, Bregman, J.D. Davis, Verlander. And Delino to Shields Refractor. Uh, so on your list, I uh, don't have any Key Brian Hayes in the quarter boxes. All right. Back Astros, Astros. And the Astros back. All right. Astros was probably the team I had the most of, so these other stacks should be smaller. Focus, focus. Come on, there we go. That is from the 87 Donruss opening day box set. Logan Davidson, Contenders, Draft Picks 2019, Olsen, Chris Davis, Chapman, Eckersley, all these Jacksons together. Only threw him in there because he's a Hall of Famer. Seiko's. All right, sounds good. Whole bunch of Rickies. Bunch of Rickies still going. Ricky, 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 Ricky. I don't think I have, to be honest, I don't think I have any. Um, 
I grew up just south of Pittsburgh. Guy I uh, grew up with, uh, he just gotten back in, and he's pretty much cleaned out all my Pittsburgh-related stuff. So I don't think I have, I don't believe I have any haze at all. So that Chapman is like a refractor finish. Matt Olson. Cespedes are both refractors. North Mateo, McGuire, but that McGuire's got a little bit of damage on the corner. Bowman first chrome, Bowman first chrome, Ricky, McGuire, McGuire, Bowman first chrome, same Bowman first chrome, Bowman first chrome, and oh, I'm saying Bowman first chrome, but they're refractors too. Those are all refractors. Dalton Jeffries, Bowman Chrome Refractor, Super Shiny, Cespedes. All right, and that's what I had on A's. If you need to go back and watch some of the old stuff, what you could do is my email address is down below, is on right here on the card. You could even, uh, if you need to go back and watch it once this uploads. <laughs> Uh, which will probably not be till tomorrow because I've been going for damn near five hours. Um, when it uploads, if you want to go through that stuff again and look, and you could email me and we could uh, we could go from there if that works. Uh, let's see what else did you Cabrian Hayes Athletics? I don't have any Yankees. I believe I mentioned that Angels. Don't have a whole lot of Angels. It's actually a very small group. Will Wilson, Contenders, 19. Just some Dave Winfield stuff. 69 tops, but it's all beat to hell. Yeah, just not going to be anything too impressive in here. I can definitely tell you that. Some teams are, some teams ended up better than others. Reggie Jackson, C.J. Wilson, Silver Prism. This Tropiano. Bowman first, chrome, refractor. Bowman first, chrome, refractor. This Trumbo is a prism silver. The Weaver is a red, a red prism of some sort, I believe, because I've seen some blue prisms in this other stuff. All right. Uh, Mariners, you mentioned... Isn't Sean Murphy, and you uh, you asked for Sean Murphy. I believe he's A's. If so, um, no. If he's not, go ahead and tell me what team he is, and we can take a, take a look. Um, I don't have any Eloy in here. So the last thing I'm going to have is going to be Mariners. That was on your, uh, that was on your list. Yeah, okay. No, if there wasn't any in that at those A's, which I didn't see any, then I'm not, unfortunately, not going to have any. All right, Mariners, Kikuchi, a whole bunch of Austin Nola rookies from Tops. Griffey Bonds all-star card. Some Griffey Andy Van Slyke. All-star cards. Justice Sheffield. Looks like three Gypsy Queen rookies. Domingo Santana. Those are uh, Topps Chrome traded or er, update from last year. Vogelbach, D. Gordon, Tawan Walker, Nick Franklin, Walker Refractor, 
Jackson Refractor. Those might all be refractors, though. Cano, Bowman, Pristine. Felix, Bowman, Pristine. Bowman Chrome first, Refractor. Cano, James Paxton. King Felix, Prism. Not silvers, just prisms. Big unit tops. Some more Rickies, or Ricky. Bowman Chrome first, Refractor, Ryan Yarbro. This Griffey has, uh, has some edge wear on it. Because most of my uh, Griffies are in my other show boxes. Johnson, 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 Johnson. All right, last little stack, probably about 25 cards. And I think I'm, at that point, I probably have hit anything that. Uh, so, Refractor, Refractor, another Ryan Yarbrough, Chrome First Refractor, Felix Cano, a couple more Felix, Rita Johnson, they're not Mariners, but I put them in with the Mariners because that's who I associate them with, more Felix. Junior, that one's that one's pretty damaged. I probably need to take that one out. Felix Bowman Platinum Cano Felix Cano Cano Felix Johnson Hernandez Hernandez Cano Big Unit and Heritage Rookie to one Walker James. Paxton. So I don't see, uh, it doesn't seem like you really saw anything completely understandable. All right, I will, uh, I will go back and do that in the morning when the uh, when it uploads because I'm going to be sending out invoices to everyone tomorrow. Um, my email address is also there on the card in the front if you want to message to uh, email me for anything. But I will uh, get that stuff to I will get that and get that over to you sometime in the next couple days. Plan to package everything up over the weekend and get it sent out on Monday. All right, sounds good. Um, like I said, I'll uh, I'll check out the I'll check out the replay tomorrow. Do that and we will go from there. Uh, but if you have any questions, let me know. We will go from there otherwise. So I appreciate you taking a look. If when it uploads to my channel, uh, you want to add anything else, uh, feel free. We can talk about that via email. But other than that, my wife has made it home from work, so I think I am going to call it a night. I appreciate you hopping in, and we will go from there. So for anybody else that's still listening, have a great night, and I will see you down the road.